Happy Tuesday, everybody. Hi, welcome to the Nobody Likes Onions morning show. My name is Patrick. Your name is, you know, whatever your dad came up with and convinced your mom. Did you know my dad? My mom wanted to name me after Elton John. She wanted to name I'm shit you not. Elton Melton. And my dad was like, Vito, Vito. He called this guy Vito over who he knows to beat the shit out of my mom and say, think of a better one. Uh, and I was like, thanks, Vito. Okay. So anyway, welcome to, <laughs> welcome to the show. That's a story of uh, domestic abuse. Oh, my God. I did the thing this morning where I slept in. And for me, that means 3.15 a.m. I was like, I'll wake up. You know what I'll do? I'll wake up. Uh, I'll wake up 45 minutes before my show. That way I'll be groggy as shit. I'll be groggy as shit. Flimsy Greenberg says Elton Melton. That would have been amazing. Elton Melton. That would have been amazing. And as a comedian, I can't even argue. You know what I mean? If I went by Elton Melton, I'd probably be famous by now. And if I was a minority of some sort, Citizen M says Melton John memes incoming. Oh, no. I didn't even think about that. Uh, Oh, God. Good day, everybody. We're watching uh, the second morning in a row of Aaron and Gino. Attempting to do what they do best. Be racist under the radar. <laughs> Good morning. Happy day, huh? Happy day. Dear God, I don't even know where to start today. So much stuff. So much stuff. I had no idea. I didn't watch uh, MLC yesterday at all. Rob Saul was on it. Who would? And then last night, maybe 9 p.m., I put MLC on to two, two, 2x speed, of course. And, um, wow, I had no idea. I had no idea. I didn't see this on Twitter yesterday or anything, but bombshells. Big, 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 big bombshells being dropped about. The Shuley Network, big accusations being levied at Bob Levy, Shuley, Chris Abels, over at the Shuley Network. So, I mean, I'd be, you know, everybody who says I'm the Shuley cuck, you know, do you think I'm not going to talk about it? You nuts? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I don't know what to believe anymore. You know what I mean? I know one thing, Kevin Brennan doesn't know what the fuck's going on. Jesus Christ, how thick can this guy be? He has to be trolling. My my theory is that Kevin Brennan has to be fucking with people because no one, and I mean this, look, I respect Kevin Brennan. I do have some base level of respect for Kevin Brennan. And um, if he's not fucking with me, I don't even know what to say. I have to, in my heart of hearts, in my soul of souls, in my, in the seat of my emotions, I have to believe he's fucking with me. No one can be this stupid. <laughs> no one can be this fucking retarded. And by the way, if he is missing it, I mean, he really, do, we really do need to find a chair that we can sit him down in, strap him down in, and wheel him into the sea. I mean, it's getting... I, I I can't fathom a guy who can't follow. He can't follow. DK is saying he's trying to draw you in for a show. I mean, it's working. I have a show. I have a show. We have a show. And by the way, I spent good money on viewers for this program. So, you know... I'm going to do my show over here. Do you know how much it costs to get 300 viewers in here every day? It's thousands of dollars. What? How do you even do that? What is going on? And I don't know. You know, I don't really. Um, 
I don't even know what to say. I really don't even know what to say. Hey, Mel, it took you once to... <laughs> What's... What is your... Uh... <laughs> He's one... We way to pick up some loose hose. Does anybody know what's going on with Tukey? Has he gotten, uh, has he gotten, uh, <laughs> is he in the sauce? What's going on? Hey, Mel, Tukey wants to know <laughs> what's, what is your boy? Uh, so, uh, <laughs> one the way to pick up some loose hoes. Yikes. Anyway, welcome, everybody. It's called Tuesday over here, and we've got a big one. We may even go into overtime today. We'll see how the numbers scatter. Scattered, covered, smothered, and doubled. Oh my God. Can we just see what they're doing? Can we just fake? Can we just unmute it and see? Andy Kaufman and Bill Hicks. Peachable offense. Andy Kaufman and Bill Hicks, as much as I'm, I like those two, are two yes. of the worst things to ever happen to comedy because <laughs> everybody thinks that they're them. That's a beautiful. The, I, I don't know what it is about once in a, once in a lifetime people, but everyone in that lifetime thinks that they're them. Yeah. You know, everyone goes, oh, I love Andy Kaufman. Great. Love Andy Kaufman. Now yeah. go do your own thing because you're not going to be Andy Kaufman. Yeah. You're not. First of all, I don't know any comic who would have the the patience and the, the confidence in themselves to do the Mighty Mouse lip syncing bit Incredible. that Andy Kaufman did. No comedian would be willing to stand there in that much silence and just wait. Or stand there and get flat out, sit there and get flat out punched. It's so, it's so um, you know. When I hear Mubi pontificate about comedy and comedians and stuff, I really do like, um, you know, and I got to admit, I was, I was pretty fucking ignorant until I uh, um, left the United States and started just seeing everything else that's out there comedy wise. What was possible? You know what I mean? Like when you start doing like international comedy festivals and shit, it's like you, you, you can't imagine you shan't imagine um, what there is and what people do. So to think that, like, nobody would be so crazy as to stand there and have the guts to do the Mighty Mouse thing. It's like, holy shit. I mean, there's there's tiers of alt comedy and, and different comedy and shit that you have no fucking clue. Some of the most brilliant stuff right alongside some of the most cringe, stupid stuff. You know, but I, 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 this this guy, and for Gino to sit there and co-sign it just shows you that Gino do, doesn't, you know, I mean, Gino must be one of these guys who's never really traveled around and done comedy for a living. I, I don't know his background, but I'm, did Gino ever, like, travel and do comedy? Did Gino ever, like, make a living off comedy? Did Gino ever, like, you know, literally, like, ever have a year where it's, like, 40 48 weeks on the road. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Melton, if you bought a thousand viewers right now, how would that benefit you? It wouldn't, it wouldn't. That's, that's the thing is like, look, we'll watch this. Uh, let me pull up my Patreon real quick. Let me ju just address Kevin Brennan. I can, uh, you know, either again, he has to be trolling me. He has to be trolling me. No one's just dumb. So after yesterday's whole thing, you know, where I go pretty hard on Kevin for just being out of it as fuck, he goes back on his show yesterday and, and for 20 minutes does the whole, how's he going to prove that, that he didn't move to Vegas to follow Butch Brown? It's like, I don't, you know, that's not even what we're talking. Again, that's 19 down the list of things that are important. That just goes to establishing stalkering or, or being a stalker, stalking, sorry, harassment, stalking, you know, if if he thinks that I moved here to follow him and that's part of it and that I told him I was going to follow him and I'd never leave him alone and I'm going to follow you everywhere. Yeah, when you tell people that I told you that, you have to have like proof that I told you that. I don't have to prove that I didn't move here to follow him, you idiot. 
So, look, I, I can't go round and around retard racetrack again with Kevin Brennan, but he missed the entire point again. No one's suing him for saying I moved to Vegas to follow him, you fucking idiot. Keep up. Keep up. And he's still doing the thing where he's like, I talked to a lawyer, so a Mountain thinks he knows the law. I talked to a lawyer. It's like, do you think I'm not talking to a lawyer? What's going on? You know, what's going on? And by the way, I'm not, uh, you, if you heard me yesterday, if you've been listening to this at all, I'm not running around pounding my chest going, I have a watertight case. He'll never walk again. <laughs> like, no, no, this may flop and I may get nowhere. I'm going to tie him up. I'm going to court. I'm going to tie him up no matter what. I'm going to make him spend money no matter what. I don't give a fuck. The world is going to see you have no evidence to back up anything you're saying. That's all I care about. You're going to shut up. You're going to stop telling people I'm threatening your life and your salsa bitch's life. We're gonna, every, everyone's going to see what a bitch Butch Bradley is. He checks his car when he goes out to it. For me. For me. Which is it? Am I a guy who never leaves my house? 900 pounds? Doesn't move? Urgh, he's so fat he couldn't even move. Is that why you check your car every time you go outside? Which is it? Am I a dangerous stalker who's lurking in your Doberman's bushes, or am I a sedentary sack of shit who never leaves his desk? Which, which is it? I'm confused. I'm confused, enemies of mine. You know, Aaron's one of these mush-minded guys who's so fucking weak in the head, he thinks every time he says something, it makes it true. Remember, I was 300 pounds, then I'm 400 pounds, now I'm 500 pounds. He's a big 600 pound guy. You can't even believe it. it's like, yeah, I guess if you keep saying it, it makes it true. I, I guess if you just keep saying I weigh more and more and more, that's what I weigh. It's not what it is is. It's whatever movie thinks, <laughs> you know, I guess if you just keep saying Melton's 900 pounds and Gino has a two inch cock, then your wife won't be interested in it. <laughs> you know, I can't even. I can't even. What are they now? It was fine. It was lovely. I believe the kids say chef's kiss. I did, That is what the kids say today. Kids say that. Uh, annoyed Wawa supervisor, if you are also an aged capicola of a man, stop by your local Wawa where all stores will have peachable fence and the slushy machines by the end of the day. All sizes, only 89 cents. They got my, it's pronounced gabagool. Uh, sorry. Gabagool. T. Jefferson says, uh, uh-oh, April's on the wagon. Oh, uh, well, I, you know, there's no wagon. You can't find any wagons in this house. Uh, Toastmaster says, I can be that weird if I have an audience. Yeah, but you gotta, you gotta earn it. You know, like you said, you gotta be broken and beaten and yeah. hammered <laughs> hammered away at and chiseled at. Your chat beat. room is going, this show is over. Uh, Red Fox Mad says, the Eagles won last night. Gino, did you win your bet? I won my Gino's Picks bet to go three and one and improve, if you want to call it that, to five and six. Holy shit, what is he drinking? Diet Sierra Mist? What was that bottle? <laughs> Movie just drank out of. But my fantasy team lost. Uh, yeah. well, both of those sound like bad things. Forty-two percent and your fantasy team. Yeah, that, that, they, that's because they are. That's because <laughs> they're both peachable fences. It, if you're a gambler, that's a peachable fence. Oh, uh, catching up with all of you, hobo chili recipe. F your city, Gino. Your fans are insufferable at the Bucks game y yesterday. Also, the Buccaneers stink. Yeah, here's the thing about Philly fans, and I'll say this: there's one percent of every fan base is awful. But the Phillies fan, uh, Philadelphia fan. I don't know uh, why. Why? Look, G say whatever you want about Gino. When I see the, oh my god, too. I I don't even know where to start with this. So last night, uh, Keanu and um, April did a show. Like uh, I guess movie let them handle the night show. You know, he would never let uh, April do a show alone. And in his home studio, he didn't even let April take the main seat. Keanu took the main seat, movie seat. Um, and from what I understand, I have not watched a lot of it. But we can watch all of it today. I don't give a shit. I think we'd be stupid not to. But apparently April goes into, like, how movies started courting her and stuff. Now, remember, apparently she was cheating on this Devin Payment guy who she was dating at the factory. And... 
Um, she was she started cheating on him with Mubi, and that Devin Payment guy called her called him out, like texted Mubi, like, "Hey, are you seeing my girl?" And Mubi texted him back. I have all these texts. I don't know if they're real or not, which is why I've never shown them, but I've had them for six months or so. And then Mubi texted him back, like. No, there's nothing going on with us. April and I are just friends. I would never betray your trust like that. I don't know. That's why I've been trying to get this Devin Payment guy on. And he keeps emailing me. And I'm like, if you want to come on, come on. Do you have something to tell? And he just replies, yes. And it's like, all right, well, I can't do this anymore. So whenever you're ready to learn how to talk. You know, it may be a giant scoop, but you know what I can't do? Retards. I can't. He may have something that'll blow up the, their entire relationship, and I can't even, like, communicate with this guy. Like, four times back and forth, I'd be like, are you are you the real Devin Payment? Can you prove that in any way? Yes. Okay, do you want to come on the show? Do you have something to say? Yes. Yeah. Okay, well, fuck. If you ever want to say more than one word, let me know. If you ever want to say anything that, you know. Jesus, I can't. So I just stop emailing him. It has to not be the real guy because who's so retarded? Who's so fucking retarded that they can't do that? But yeah, anyway, somebody sent me all those texts between Devin Payment and, and Mubi. And who knows if they're real or not? I mean, they're real texts, it seems. but. I don't know. Basically, it's like this Devin Payment guy being like, hey, somebody said they saw you in April together canoodling or kissing or, you know, all this stuff. And then movies like, I wouldn't do that, bro. I'm not that kind of a guy. There's nothing going on with us. Movie had a girlfriend at that uh, at that time, too. Really? Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Um, that's just uh, what I'm saying. Lance with a fact, and we all know these are real. April was making 1375 at an injection mold plastics factory when Aaron met her at a Best Buy. A Best Buy. You know what I'm saying? Hit the like button, you idiots. Uh, who wants to do the likes today? Can we have Lance? Can we have Lance? I know Lance will do whatever it takes to get the like button hit if we put him in charge. What about Lance? And then we need a lady. We have to have a lady, you know. Uh, to make sure it gets done right, because men, men are loose, and men, uh, men don't know what the fuck they're doing. You know what I mean? We need a lady. We need a lady. <laughs> I need a lady to make sure the job gets done right. Let me scroll through. We have Michaela. She's rubbing me the wrong way today. I don't even know why. I don't even have a reason. I just let you know, Michaela. You're on thin ice today. Um, Eric says, I just disliked. I, that doesn't matter. That's fine. That's fine. Um, either way, that's, uh, that's a, okay, we need a lady. All right. Real Stevie Lou. That's a fake Stevie Lou. I'm sure. Um, flat cat Jessica said, I'm too tired. That's why we should make her do it. Right. All right. It's on Jessica. We'll ban Jessica. If we don't have 200 likes by the end of the show. We'll ban Flat Cat Jessica for a week. <laughs> That's it. You just asked for it. You just, you got it. You got it. Okay, let's, uh, real quick, as if we can stomach any more Gino. All right, let me bring my Patreon up here so we can watch this, uh, Rob Saul revelation. And by the way, we're on Rumble. Hi to everybody over on Rumble. Rumble brag. Rumble brag. Uh, Vicious SOB, Johnny Mars. Wait, I see you over on Rumble. Hi. And uh, feel free to join us on Rumble. Rumble's a site. Rumble's a thing we're doing, huh? We're do we're do we're having we're smoking it. We're doing it. I said, but I am not. Can we so back we can it up? Them. Okay, here we go. <laughs>
By the way, how good are Mondays now that I'm not on there? I enjoyed yesterday way more. I didn't watch it. I slept. <laughs> how the worm has turned. <laughs> We're doing it. I mean, in the best possible way. I hope everyone's sniping this show. So for people that don't know, Rob Saul uh, did Levy Land. I guess he had another show. Um, Rob Salutations or something like that. I don't know. Uh, Rob was on the Shuley Network and Levy Land, and now he's going over to MLC to tell some dirt about Shuley buying views. And again, you know, I don't, I don't know what's true and what's not. Everyone could be lying. Everything could be a work. We're just here to observe. We're just here to think about it. We're just here to ask the tough questions. <laughs> I know it's a Yom Kippur, so I don't know if all the Shuleys are are, are are working today. I don't know what's going on. I, I have no idea. It's hard to keep track. All I know is we're doing it. Uh, uh, it's incredible. Uh, Rob Saul, as we know, we call him in the in the hack verse, the whistleblower. We're doing it. Things are happening. I hope everybody's here. <laughs> wow. Here's the thing, Bob Levy. Wow. If you're going to treat people like shit, you should, uh, what do you call it when you, when somebody leaves the CIA, you deprogram them or you, uh, the, you debrief them. So they, you oh, may, yeah, they, yeah. <laughs> they have to tell you, uh, they, you hypnotize them or so they don't have any information. So Kevin thinks debriefing means hypnotizing them. So they don't have any more information. I, I don't need to tell you anymore. This guy doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. That's a, yeah. It's also oh. part of Kevin Brennan's brand of comedy. It's to be a confused old idiot. So this is why it is tough to like understand him. That is what makes him funny is that he thinks debriefing means wiping your memory. You know, I, I know he probably doesn't mean that, <laughs> but we don't know. We'll never know. Allegedly. The slide whistle blow. Allegedly. There is some dirtiness going. Let me just set this up a little bit. <laughs> okay, I always like to do my. I, you know, who are we kidding? I don't know. Uh -oh, like are, are you the are you like the Bobby Hutch of the Shuli Network, Rob? Is that what? I but even the, better, uh, the police are in here today. Mm -hmm. Even oh, better. <laughs> when you go to uh, community guidelines for YouTube, yeah, uh, this is the number one thing that they don't like. Fake engagement. The number one thing. fake engagement youtube doesn't allow anything that artificially increases the number of views likes comments or other metrics either by using automatic systems or serving up videos to unsuspecting viewers also content that solely exists to incentivize viewers for engagement anyway it's their first topic under community guidelines on youtube true yeah. and impersonation then it's third links then pam deceptive pre not pam Spam, Pam at St. Ranger, spam, uh, dissected practices and, and scams, playlists, additional policies. Uh, then it's sensitive content. But the number one thing under community guidelines I is the number one thing. fake engagement. Yeah. Rob saw my new best friend, allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. Yeah. He, he knows of a gentleman caller. That uh, uh, a guy who you, they've been using at the Shit Payers Network for how long, Rob? Do you think? Um, gosh, I mean, before I think even you started working with Bob. I mean, uh, wow. I, I I I was made aware. No, of I this started working with Bob first, and then Shuli started work, and then Shuli started the network about a year ago. Okay, well, Bob was, I guess, buying views with this guy for Levy Land then. Oh, oh! Uh, so he was buying he was buying live views with Levy. I mean, look if 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 Saul, if Rob Saul is lying, um, you know, it wouldn't surprise me for Bob Levy and Shuli to lose their shit. Um, Rob has incriminating dirt at this point. He does not give a fuck. Yeah, because he's basically admitting he bought views too. You know, which which don't get me wrong is a great way to sell a lie if you are lying. Yeah, I was smoking crack. Uh, these guys sold it to me. These guys deal crack. I smoked some, but they were smoking it too. And I, you know what I mean? To sell somebody else out, you make yourself guilty of a little crime. So if this is not true, it's just as big a story as if it is true to me.
Because Rob Saul and MLC spreading this false rumor would be just as crazy as this being true to me. And or he was live. Uh, for, he he does live, and and you know what was funny is when um <clears throat> you you were talking about that um about uh the paid it started Adam like, Adam put like Rob's him. name up put not Rob's name up because I want all, everybody to know uh what's happening in case they just flip over in case they're flipping mm. through the channels. So, okay. So anyway, I was doing the Rob Saul show and I was doing Levy land and some Indian guy on Facebook, Bob said, Oh, I'm sending this guy to you. Um, Don't make him Indian. Just make him from the, uh, just well, make whatever him from he is. Asia. He, he was a brown skin gentleman. You can't uh, even say that. I'm sorry. We're going to get shut down for calling somebody brown skin. <laughs> he was not, we'll just say he wasn't white. Where's the, yeah, where's that on the list? Yeah. <laughs> Under um, spam. So anyway, I don't make up the rules, Rob. I just, I just, let's go. I just, just kind of want to get monetized so I can get super chats, you know, and um, for your show or for Levy Land? For my show. Well, I guess Bob was already paying him for Levy Land. Um, and uh, so anyway, you know, so what happens is it's it's this guy that's not white, I'll say that. But then when you send him a PayPal, it comes under the name Steven Springer, uh, which is an extremely white name. Um, so anyway. Uh, and how much do you have to pay him? Uh, it's like, uh, for what I did, it was like $50 and you got like an extra 1,000 or 2,000 views. But I don't know. He did live views too, and he does other stuff. I was trying well, you to. You didn't uh, buy live views. You just bought views after yeah. the show went up on. Uh, yes, after you did exactly. it live, and then it was yes. it was up on on your uh, YouTube platform. Yeah. He would he and he would definitely he would definitely give you some. Yes, it would definitely go up. I would go from like I think even Stevie Lou called it out one time. He's like, "How do I go on Rob Saul show's page?" And he has thirty four viewers, and then I refresh, and it's up to fifteen hundred. But <laughs> you know, yeah, just just for the record, you know, we'll have anywhere from three hundred to five hundred views uh, at all points during the morning. You know, before the BS show go, goes live, we tend to have, you know, somewhere around four hundred and fifty. And then uh, after the BS show goes live, we'll we'll hover anywhere from three fifty or so. Um, so there, he's saying that that uh, oh, and then when my when my show goes off after four hours, we'll be around two thousand total views, which means over the four hours, two thousand individuals um, watched the show. You know, there may only be 300, 400, 500, whatever, watching at any given moment, but cumulatively, after the four hours, 2,000. Usually at the end of uh, anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000, at the end of my four hours, okay? That's that's my numbers. That's my experience. For instance, right now, the, to the total number of live viewers, 353. But the total number of views on this video, from what I see, is 482. That means more people have checked it out than are watching currently. And that total number of views keeps going up and up and up, even though the number of live viewers relatively stays within 100 you know, of each other, the whole broadcast. So what he's saying is he'll have 34 live viewers, and then at the end of his show, he'll have 2,000 total views, which doesn't add up because I'll have 10x the live viewers, and then at the end of the show, I have 2,000 total views. So you know what I mean? It doesn't, that that uh, ratio doesn't work out. But he's admitting he bought views trying to get monetized for his channel for the Rob Saul show. $50 for 1,000 views, apparently. Holy shit. Yeah, it, it, it was that. So anyway, um, he... Well, that's what the day I, everyone said the godfathers of comedy, whatever the, what, what, the, yeah. whatever, whatever the, at the Shuley Network, the godfathers show. Oh, yeah. The they God. said their thing was ridiculous because they'd have four, 67 people watching live. And then as soon as it went, as soon as it, it wasn't live anymore, all of a sudden they had 3,000 views. Like seconds later, all of a sudden they got 3,000 views. Well, so. that's what I'm telling you. I listen, I don't know this to be a fact. I know Bob sent uh, me this guy, um, but. He did. He he's aggressive because I guess he wants to make money. So he contacts. Once you pay this guy, he's contacting you constantly. Like, and I'm like, I, I don't have money. I don't have money. I don't have money. And he's like, oh well. And I'm like, 
And I said, and I'm thinking. So these guys are paying out of their pocket to buy views to make their show look successful or more successful than it is while it loses money. So Rob Shaw is literally over here like, I can't just keep paying you money for viewers because he's not making any money on the show. Like, holy shit, you know? Imagine that, where you just got to keep giving this guy 50 bucks every time you do a show to get your numbers up. Like, who cares? Network is legit. And I'm like, I'm trying to get on the Shuli Network. That way I don't have to buy views. I get them. And he says, why well, do views for the Shuli Network? This is what this guy told me. I do views for the Shuli Network. So Rob Saul says he, uh, bo- he's, <laughs> Rob Saul says that Bob Levy sent him this guy that does his views, and he also does views for Bob Levy and the Shuley Network, if that's possible. Barrister, 1401. Gino actually sits closer to Aaron than April does. We'll, 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 get, we'll look at that, if that's true. Holy shit. Is that true? Now I just got to go see. <laughs> oh, my God. You're right. Look at this. Holy shit. I'm not kidding you. Somebody do a comparison. He Gino is scooted way over close to Aaron. And Aaron only wears compound media t-shirts when Gino's in town. It's cute. Uh, Mr. Green says, hey, Melton, Shuley has advertisers. Um, so they care about numbers. Is that is that what it is? Um, he needs to prove. Uh, hold on. Where did that comment go? They're saying you're saying that he's fa- he fakes the views so his advertisers think he has. You know that's a double edged sword. I feel like that'll bite you in the ass. Cause look, if you have 500 viewers and you advertise rustic cuts, and then three people buy rustic cut steaks, okay. If you if you fake 1500 views on top of that, now it's 2000 views. Well, the f- the fifteen hundred you bought aren't gonna go buy rustic cut steaks. You're still gonna sell three boxes of rustic cut steaks, but now it looks even worse, you know, with the proportion of people that you were able to to convert. Now you converted three people out of two thousand, not three people out of five hundred. Doesn't that look worse to me? You know what I mean? Like for your conversion stats. I don't know. Uh, Rustic Cuts is asking them to open the books. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if that's true. Um, Oh, people are saying Shuley went on uh, Dr. Chow last night and denied Rob Saul's claim. This is, I I point blank asked Shuley and Joe. I was like, if you guys are buying views, like like, you're retarded. You're going to lose your channel. Do you think that the algorithm can't figure out if you're buying views? Like you're going to get caught eventually. Do you think they all come from like uh, middle America? No, they're probably all coming from fucking Guam. You know what I mean? (laughs) Like shit goes to Mr. P member for three months. So the whole DOC strike thing was a lie too. So Shuli and Bob ruined his livelihood. Uh, WATP going to cover that. Shuli is a whale. Well, I mean, it was never a DOC strike. Are, are you okay? Do you pay attention? I don't think this had anything to do with that strike either. They show, Unless they faked that screen, they showed the screen where it said animal abuse two seconds in when the rooster was on the screen. And then YouTube, this was all public. YouTube on Twitter told, surely we made a mistake. Sorry about that. We've reinstated your account. So this had nothing to do with drunk on cringe. It was a mistake. Animal be like that. That's a totally separate issue. Two things can be true. I mean, YouTube publicly on Twitter told Shuli we made a mistake. Our, our AI algorithm, whatever saw animal abuse. There was no animal abuse are bad and undid the strike. So, so the DOC thing was a lie. I mean, it was never a DOC thing. Pay attention. Pay attention, okay? Uh, did you? Shuli cried on Carlos saying it was. I know. That's dumb. That's dumb. It was never DOC. It was never DOC. 
That's professional victim stuff. Literally, this is what I'm saying. Like, Shuley was on 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 uh, Carlos Danger's show going like, we got him. This is all I needed. You Admitting you went after us. But DOC was literally saying, I didn't copyright strike that video for animal cruelty. And then Shuley was like, got him. It's all we needed. <laughs> it's like, that, that was never a thing. That was never a thing. So again, are you paying attention? Are you paying attention, Mr. P? Don't make me fucking come over there. Dig up that dog and fuck it in the ass. I swear to God, I'll put, I'll crawl inside your dog's fucking dead skin coat and wear it around like one of those uh, one of those Star Star Wars. What do they uh, cut him open and crawl into him to stay warm? A haunted. What do they crawl? What is that creature in Star Wars? <laughs> fuck, I can't think of it now. Would have been a great reference. That's too early in the morning. The point is, it was never DOC. And to anybody paying attention, it was never DOC. So unless they're faking that, look, they weren't. They weren't. YouTube publicly said, we made a mistake. Too surely. So that is a separate issue. That's a totally separate issue. But Shuley and Joe both told me they didn't buy views. And Shuley denied it again yesterday. Now, look, Shuley has to deny it publicly, right? Shuley has to deny it publicly because if you if you admit it publicly, you'll get, you know, I imagine they could turn that over to you. Somebody could turn that over to YouTube and go after you. But do you think Rob Saul's lying here? What's what's Rob Saul's incentive to lie, to burn down his? Let's not forget, didn't, didn't Levy go to Rob Saul's wedding or didn't? Didn't Rob Saul have a wedding or something they all went to? Aren't they all friends? So this is wild. This is, no matter how you slice it, this is nuts. If Rob's lying, it's crazy. And if he's not lying and Shuley's lying, it's crazy. I don't, Rob Saul's not striking me as a liar here. So what's going on? And, um, uh, so initially you're just buying for the Rob Saul. Uh, yeah. It's just for, yeah. For my, my show. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he says, well, I'm doing numbers for I doing it. We're doing it over there. Mm. Yeah. Is he, is he emailing you? Is he texting you? How are you uh, gonna Facebook hold messenger Facebook? Okay. Yeah. So uh, anyway, um, I quit my job cause I thought I had another one, but it fell through. So I'm, I'm starting a new job. So I've been, I've been out of money. So, uh, my aunt sent me money to get by this week on uh my on aunt sent and me money when i go on venmo i see they give you activity of your friends on facebook and what they're doing uh -oh. wait, wait, wait 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 you quit you just quit your job yes oh so this is not this is not we're not talking about that non-white fella anymore we're talking about right we're talking about this week so he's gonna say that he sees bob levy and chris abel's paying this guy and obviously this guy gets paid for views and he sees recurring payments from these people to this guy. First of all, again, it's like, is everyone's Venmo public? Are you all dumb? Is everyone retarded? This is what happened with Ray and uh, vaping Dago. You know, it's like, make your fucking Venmo private. Everyone. Right now, open your Venmo, go to settings, and just change the default to always private. What are you all doing? What are you all doing? We need to know that you went and had brunch with your friend or that you guys went to a museum or that I owe you for snacks. It's like, this is a disease that you people have where you need likes and, and affirmation on everything about what you do. Splitting electricity with my roommate. You need a like on that? Fucking make it private. Make it private. What are you doing? Like, it's so insane. Make it private. So Rob Saul busted you because of Venmo. Yes. Oh, right. no, well, the, the, By the way, he says he has screenshots. It, well, imagine if you came with him today, Rob. This is probably why you're a fucking flake. This is probably why you're a goddamn fluke who's not getting any traction everywhere. Think, think, think. I'm going on MLC to reveal this stuff. Yeah, I got it. I have screenshots. I got to get it together. I'll yeah, I'll I'll work. I'll go get the I'll go get the uh text and email. It's like 
Why wouldn't you do that for today, Rob? You just said you don't have a job. MLC is at 4 p.m. You had all fucking day to gather this evidence and bring it. And if you weren't ready today, just say, I'll do it tomorrow when I have all the stuff. No, 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 no. It's an afterthought. Yeah, I'll, good idea. I'll go get the screenshots. The fuck are we doing? <laughs> and by the way, now Kevin's into receipts. Do you notice? Now Kevin wants receipts. Now Kevin wants receipts. It's like, what a fucking disingenuous fuck. What a disingenuous bitch. He's like, ah, oh, everybody wants receipts. They're so gay. Now he's over there like, oh, I wish I had receipts. <laughs> Week. So right. my aunt sends me money on Venmo. And Imagine being in your 40s and your aunt sends you money. Your aunt? Was it in a birthday card? Your aunt sent you money. <laughs> I've never, in, in all my years of doing this and uh, being a part of podcast communities and bouncing around to different, you know, cesspools of losers and stuff, I've never come across a community full of older men who need financial assistance. I've never seen more 40 and 50 year olds who don't have it figured out in my life. My aunt sent me money. Okay. Heard from Lance that there's a goddamn snake in the grass. This whole time there was a wolf in sheep's clothing. There was a crocodile with its teeth hidden. His name, Rob Saul. It's okay, Bob. In six weeks, Rob will do a face turn. He will be back with us. We will turn this work into real heat. Shalom. Yeah. And you are. I, I don't know what's real anymore, man. Uh, this it, is wild. Venmo shows you all your Facebook friends' activity. And I see this guy um, that Chris Abels is constantly sending him payments. So, how, 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 Steven Springer? Springer? Yeah, Steven Springer. So I'm like, when you oh. say constantly, how many, how often? I mean, I don't, I, I didn't count them. I took a screenshot of one of them, but um, it's like, you know, uh, you know. It asks you what it's for, and he just puts a bunch of fucking gay emojis. It's like, what if before you went public with all this, you went and got all the screenshots? He's like, right now he's going, I don't know. I don't know how many. I don't know. I have to go look. Uh, I took a screenshot, but I don't know. It's like, well, guess what? They're privated now. They're all privated now, stupid. And if they're not, you're an idiot, Chris Hables. But, you know, uh, like, fuck, you have to go grab it all before you go public with it. You know what I mean? Jesus Christ, this guy sucks. <laughs> uh, you know, for why he's paying this guy. Um, and I'm like, well, that's it. And I'm like, so they cancel Levy Land and I stopped getting paid. I'm getting annoyed because now I'm out of work and I'm not getting paid. And But Chris Abels and Levy are getting paid. But because their numbers are so high, but nobody wants Rob Saul. It's all about super chats, really, is how you get paid. But I'm not sure I, since I don't have the money to buy viewers, my show is not uh, considered, you know, worthy of the network. You know, it, it's not like I'm getting less numbers than everybody else. It, so everybody on the Shuli network, is he saying if you're on the Shuli network, you're responsible to go buy your own viewers? The network doesn't buy them for you. It's not like Melton. There is not one receipt to be seen. This is as substantial as Butch's proof of his claims against you. This is a literal joke that you're even considering this as believable. It takes a single moment to take a screenshot, especially if Rob is already incriminating himself. Use your head, man. Look, I, uh, you know, everybody accuses me of being a shuly shell. Um, I'd be insane if I didn't cover this. I'd be insane if this if I didn't cover this. And, you know, like, again, Shuli has told me he didn't buy views. Not that he owes me the truth at all. Like, who the fuck am I? But Joe told me they didn't buy views. And now Rob saw one of their own with inside information saying, Bob Levy sent me this guy. Bob Levy told me how to buy views with this guy that he says he does them for the Shuli network. All this kind of stuff. So... Rob doesn't strike me as a liar. People who are losers, who, who don't really have much, have no real reason to lie. I, I get, you know, I don't know. Hello. 
Hi, this is Citizen M. Yeah. I sent you over the screenshots to info at nobodylikesonions.com just now. Oh, boy. Bye-bye. I love you. Bye. Um, No, he didn't. <laughs> I have nothing. Um... I have no screenshots of anything. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I got nothing. I don't know. Why? Well, whoa. Why did somebody send me this? Do not men do not release. Do not mention on stream. Uh oh. <clears throat> Uh, is this true? I can't read. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't. What the fuck? Sorry, I don't even know what to make of this. I don't even know what I'm looking at. This document. Somebody's trying to get Kevin in big trouble. This is like serious shit. And I don't, I don't even, I can't even tell what I'm looking at. I don't even know if this is something real. Anyway, nobody's uh, sent anything to me at nobodylikesonions.com. So I don't know if that was just part of the citizen M joke. Let me check my junk. Oh, wow. In my junk, there's a thing here that says, um, Insta followers, get your social media ready for autumn. Feel the autumn vibes on your social media. Insta followers. Buy Instagram followers. Buy TikTok followers. This is a real, so these are, this is in my spam, but. Yeah, I have nothing from uh, anybody about Shuli or screenshots or so that was a joke um i don't know man I, look rob's look he could be lying this could be complete sabotage if, if this is a lie it's an it's a complete egregious attack on bob levy by a friend by a friend and i would expect then on the bs show this morning for there to be some strong words from bob levy And if, and look, if Bob, Bob, if you, uh, yeah, and sometimes Bob listens. Look, if you told him to do this, just say it, just say, it. what do you get by burying this any farther? It's going to come out. It's, it's going to come out. Do not say my name. You don't have to say this kind of stuff, everybody. Um, whoa. Okay. These are actually screenshots that just rolled in. Whoa. Okay. Chris Abel's paid Steven Springer. Um, does it say how much? Do we get to see how much? Whoa, hold on. Um Yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna have to go find this guy. Okay, maybe we can, can you look up on a guy on Venmo on the web or do you have to do it on the app? All right, we're going we're gonna to look into this. Let's just finish it up and hear the accusations. I, I, I don't know what's going on, man. It, it is, it is, uh, if they continue denying it and then proof comes out that it was true, it's like, you look like double assholes. You really do have to get ahead of this. You, you know, even if we, you go out, come out and go, you know, back in the day, we did when we first started, we got into this. It was a dangerous. Here's the thing. How do you ever stop doing it? You have to just keep growing as a show or else you look like Steel Toe. Do you know what I mean? Like Steel Toe looks retarded because their show is shrinking. You're literally watching their viewers and their live live show stuff atrophy in front of our eyes. So when you buy it by 500 live viewers. You can't ever stop or you're going to immediately drop back down to whatever. So you have to keep that up. 
And if your show's not making money and the viewers aren't real and it doesn't convert to actual dollars, then you're going to be losing money. So I don't know. The only reason to do it is you're tricking real people into giving money to your show. And I don't even know how that would work. Oh, I see you guys have a lot of viewers. Here's my money. Max Bringle in the chat. Someone told them about it and they were uh, doing Uncle Rico yesterday. They they just took passive ag aggressive shots at Rob and moved on. You know, again, it's like Butch Bradley's out there telling people I'm threatening his life and his family's well-being. I'm pretty pissed about that because nothing could be farther th from the truth. You're running around telling people I'm, I'm threatening your life. I'm demanding receipts. I'm telling you that never happened. And I'm telling you we haven't communicated. There isn't one text, email, phone call, voicemail, anything that will ever leak out from me to Butch Bradley since 2018. I can say it loud. I can say it proud. And I can say it confidently because it doesn't exist. I'm not upset about it. I'm very calm about it. I'm letting you know if it ever comes out that I have harassed Butch Bradley, contacted Butch Bradley, showed up at a show that Butch Bradley was at, told somebody I was going to get Butch Bradley, harassed his family, stalked his family, said I was going to his house, know his address. If you can find a text or a piece of evidence that even indicates I know his address. I'll eat my own dick live on air. It doesn't exist. I'm not worried about it. I'm confident. Same reason when people are like, oh, we found alts or something. It's like, put it up. Show the world, baby. Because I don't have Reddit alts. I don't have Twitter alts. I don't have. Good luck. Show the world. <laughs> you know, like I'm very confident in it. It's not even like it's not even a thing. Do you think there are people out there who wouldn't be? Rubbing that in my face if it existed? Of course. I know I'm not good enough. I don't know how the 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 view buying even the stuff even works. It's insane. You know, we used to tease Josh Denny about this back in the day when he would buy a hundred thousand Twitter followers. He's like, no, that's how you gotta do it. And then they follow you and then you follow them, and then that's how you get famous on Twitter. I was like, Well, now Josh Denny has 150,000 Twitter followers and can't pay his rent. So did that help? Or do they keep falling off because Twitter keeps getting rid of bots and you have to keep rebuying them so it doesn't look like you're hemorrhaging views? You know, what? what is the end game here? So if, if you're just deny, 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 Rob Saw comes out and says, I have proof that you're doing it, and then you go, no, 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 deny, 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 deny. It, when, if it does come out, it's going to get bad. It's going to get bad, you know. Patrick, the reason you boost viewer numbers is people will donate more to appear special in a larger community. They want to be a meaningful part of something big. Yeah, I think I think that's uh, true a little bit. You know, I don't know. Uh, people are saying this Chris Abel show, the replayables gets, you know, 900, 1,000 live viewers. And, and I think like when that show was new on the network, it did. And then now over there. Um, he doesn't. So it's like, oh, are they out of money? Are they not making enough to keep buying the viewers? Ian Hawk says, I called in a couple weeks ago and explained all this and the site they could be using. If they use an Indian dude who paid 10 times the amount, that's hilarious. Oh, is $50 like too much? Like I said, Patrick, even if you scroll past the channel and it starts... Um, running, even if you don't stay and watch, it's counted as a view. I mean, not on YouTube. That's a hundred percent not true on YouTube. That's not how YouTube works on rumble. Yes. On rumble. I think there a view is like, did you see the video in, in a list? Um, uh, YouTube, you have to watch for 30 seconds. There, there's a thing that like explains exactly what a view is on YouTube and how it works. It's definitely not scroll past it. That's not true for YouTube. Rob has receipts. That's why they were mom. They spent last night getting the story straight. They will try to discredit Rob all morning. I, I just think, look, if it, you know, if Bob's listening to this, and if Shuli's listening to this, or if producer Joe's listening to this, and and I don't know, those guys don't really talk to me anymore. <laughs> to be honest, but um, 
Uh, my advice would be to just mea culpa this thing. Uh, they're doubling down on Rob Saw's lie. You know, if this pr- I have stuff in my inbox right now that's crazy. And we'll probably, uh, this is going to be a minor part of this show today because I really don't know whether it's true or not. But this stuff that's rolling in is nuts. Um, holy shit. And you know what? Um, oh, fuck. Like, I, I, I don't even know. Like, I, I almost want to, like, I'm jealous of radio because they get to take a break and gather their thoughts because the stuff that's coming into me right now, I don't even know how to, like, I'm I'm giddy and getting flush because I, I honestly, I don't even know how to, like, present what I've been given right, right now <sighs> because I, I see something in this um, Steven Spring. I'm not kidding you. I think this has a Vegas link. I think this all ties to Las Vegas and worlds collide with other people I'm involved with on this show. And holy shit, the stuff I'm saying. I, let's finish hearing this out and then we can investigate. While this is playing, I'm going to be looking something up because this is nuts. That I'm not paying this man to get my numbers boosted. So can you, are you monetized now or are you still waiting? Cause you need, uh, you need more subscribers. No, I have enough subscribers. I got that, but apparently now you need a certain amount of subscribers, which I've surpassed, but, um, I need, you need watch, the watch hours. hours. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm only at like 2,500 for the year and you got to be at like 4,000. I did. I get four thousand watch hours in in about four minutes. Well, yeah. I mean, this is no, a. I'm, I, I'm, I, I mean, I told I'm, you. I'm paying for them. No, I'm you're not paying for. Them. I got. We got a line to Stephen. I mean, listen, Mr. Springer. I, I I told I told uh, Kevin today. He said, you know, when he asked me, I said, Kevin, you bash me all the time, but I, you're funny, and I love the show. This is my favorite podcast. I don't care what you say about me. If you're funny and you're entertaining, that's what it's about. Like to me, like. I, this isn't me. Uh, it's kind of me being spiteful, but I'm really not a spiteful person. It's you don't have to kiss my ass for me. So they like th- they basically threw Rob Saul out, right? Like Rob Saul was doing um, Levy Land. I did Levy Land. Remember when I drove Rob Saul off? I I created a fight between him and Chris Aples, and Rob Saul quit the show, and we were all dying laughing. So Rob Saul is a little scorned here. And I mean, this is fucking wild. This is wild. So somebody sent me a screenshot of, of this guy's Venmo. And there are Vegas comedians on this list in these Venmo transactions that are sending him money. So regardless of this, I may have also discovered some Vegas comedians who are buying views because of this guy. If this guy is like some giant hub, you know, this is like when, when they try to catch the big drug dealer, the big fish, this guy will be the vector for everyone who's buying fucking viewers. Uh, I, I, what I'm looking at is fucking bananas. Um, and Kevin, you know that. And again, yeah, I got gone out of my way not to kiss your ass. Well, yeah, I mean, you've gone out of your way to <laughs> fucking <laughs> say every awful thing you can about me. But I, you, you, you're funny. That you, it would be insulting if you if you were uh, talking bad about me and it wasn't funny. But if it's funny, you know. No, oh, I just, you know, I got insulted. Listen, man, I, you know, we have basically we have a, a relationship just because. Uh, well, we don't have a relationship, but anyway, I was on the pilot <laughs> when you guys did the pilot at uh, oh, yeah, Compound. Yeah. I was at that pilot, and again, I I know what Levy does. Levy gets so so excited about nothing. So I I don't know if I you watched that show when I told the story about what Chris Abels told me he was going to do, uh, <laughs> fly out every week to do. Yeah, that. because you you were you <laughs> went over to do uh, 
Bill Schultz's show, and then yeah. Levy was in the bathroom or went to smoke or something. Yeah. So I'm sitting there with Chris. I have nothing. I have nothing to talk to him about. I don't even know the guy. And uh, you know, so I was just making small talk with him, and he said, "Yeah, he's going to fly up every week uh, to do compound media. He's going to he's going to make up the money he's uh, fly the 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 air uh, plane money, whatever whatever word I'm looking for. He's going to make <laughs> it up because when you when him and Levy and you guys all tour, and I was like, <laughs> wow, you guys, we were trying. <laughs> so yeah. All right, I I guess I can show this, and I guess I should show this before it all gets." made private because I know how stuff happens here. Um, I got to hide certain aspects of this. I know how stuff happens and it all gets taken down. So holy shit. So this is the Steven Springer guy. I got to try not to show anything crazy here. Apparently this is the Steven Springer guy's Venmo account. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. So this is Chris Abel's paid Steven Springer. Chris Abel's paid Steven Springer. And if you look, these are seven days apart, which would be like a weekly show. This be creative, I think, is Byron Kennedy, who's a Vegas comedian. And it's for marketing. And then I know Doobie Maxwell is a comedian. He used to teach comedy classes. I don't know who Wesley Morin is. Um, Martin Feldman paid Steven Springer. Steven Springer paid House of Hookah, Leaf Cedar. Here it again. Here it is again. Byron Kennedy, be be creative. I only know that's Byron Kennedy because this is his picture. I guarantee you click that, it's Byron Kennedy. Steven Springer, Leaf Cedar. Here's Levy Land paid Steven Springer. And the and the reason for paying? Replay. Is that replayables? Why is Levy Land paying for replayables? So anyway, that's that. That's that. Melton wants Kevy's love. No, I mean, look, what is is everybody? This isn't about Kevy's love. Yeah, you're right. I'm trying to get back on him. I'll see. I wish he would take me. Imagine that being your take from this. Melton wants back on MLC, so he's trying to make Kevin happy. It's like, no, what is is, man? What is is if they've been buying views, they've been buying views. It's what is, I mean, hello, you know, it's not the end of the world. What's funny is to keep trying to bury it. What's funny is to keep trying to deny it when all this evidence keeps leaking out. You know, what's cringe to keep denying it. Like just go. F yeah. Fuck. <laughs> we were fucking with Kevin and we bought views to try to fuck with Kevin. At least that's honest. At least whatever. You know, I, I, I get what you're saying. This could crumble their, you know, like, oh, all their sponsors will be like, wow, you're buying views. How do we know what's real? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But those are consequences you have to deal with. It's insane to sit here and pretend like there's not some sort of fire here. I mean, look at all this smoke. Levy land paid. And these are repeat payments. Chris Abel's Chris Abel, you know, like, so is this nothing? No, probably not. Probably not. People are saying what's on that U tab, Patrick. It's like, you'll never know. You'll never know. And just, and first of all, just, you want to see how rich daddy is. I got $114 in my Venmo. If you want to send me some, some more P melt. But here's between you, just in case anybody <laughs> wants to know if I've ever paid Steven Springer for, um, no, I don't know this guy, but he's clearly a comic. This looks like the Chicago laugh factory behind him. Don't ask me how I can tell if they're different signs. Uh, look, um, <sighs> 
I mean, I would just tell you if I was doing that. There's no reason to denying it. Again, I don't think I'm good enough to ever fucking like get away with something like that. I'm really not. I'm really not. It'll be it'll be interesting to see at 6 a.m. what they're going to say. Um, I don't know. Whimpering John sounds like a poor making up story for sounds like a poor making up a story for a hundred dollars. Uh, Brian Kowalczyk, perhaps a work. Y yes, I'm not putting that past it. I'm just showing what we're what we're finding here. It's all I do on this show. I'm not trying to draw conclusions. I'm trying to show what I'm getting. Barrister 1401, not defending Shuley, but looks like payments only from Levy and Abel's, not TSN or Shuley. Right, but Levy's not involved in replayables in any way. Why would he be paying for replayables? This is what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know anything. You're right. You're right. You're right. So, so what's the, what's the, con, what's the connotation here that Bob Levy is buying views for the network and Shuley's unaware? I don't know, man. Like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I, I know one thing you can't, you cannot go. Nope. We don't do anything over here. Uh, something's going on. Something's going on. <laughs> Is this the Steven Springer guy on Facebook? I mean, I, I'm not clicking a link in the middle of the show and helping you do detective work. Okay, Luke? <laughs> you send me a link to a Facebook profile. Is this the guy? Oh, yeah, let me stop the show and help you collaborate. Do your own work. Eyes on your own paper. Um, Dude is just a comedian. Do you think Shuley would assign Levy to buy views? It, uh, Bob just shows up. I could be wrong, but I don't want to be. Yeah, I don't know. Do we know? It's First of all, it says Levy Land paid. D is Shuley in control of the Levy Land account? You know, it, just because it says Levy Land doesn't mean Bob's doing it. It's his last name. Levy Land is a show. So I, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Someone's lying. Someone's lying very, very big here. So it's either either the Shuley Network's covering stuff up, or 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 uh, Rob Saul's a complete lying piece of shit who's just trying to set. And I don't think Rob has that that in him to just launch an attack like this that's completely fabricated. You guys think that's what's going on? You th you think Rob Saul has it in his guts to do that kind of a move? In related new rustic cut sales in Mumbai are up 3,434%. Huh. Interesting. Rob is just dumb. Come on, Melton. What proof has been prevented that this guy even sells views? Yeah, I'm not saying he does. <laughs> I'm not saying he does. I'm saying there's repeated purchases. That's what's been alleged. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm asking. I'm asking questions, man. I'm asking questions, and you guys all fucking know if I didn't bring this up, you'd all be like, how are you going to deny what Shuli's doing? It's like, I'm just asking questions. If you think Shuli and Bob aren't going to go live this morning and, and, and address it, and by the way, if they don't, they're insane. Again, someone's screaming that you murder people, and you're just, you guys are going to go, there's no truth to that. Anyway, let's check out the latest Stuttering John video. It's like, no, 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 no. You better deal with this. These accusations are going to grow and grow and grow. And if and if Chris A, if uh, Rob Saul has a text from Bob Levy saying, I'm sending you this guy to help you buy views, and it's Steven Springer, now what? Now is there still no evidence? I, I don't know, man. I don't know. You're all going, Bob's dumb. Bob doesn't know how to buy views. You think Bob's organizing this? Uh, Chris, uh, Rob Saul's saying, Bob sent him this guy and said, this is how we do it over at the Shuley Network. So again, like, if I'm Bob Levy and this isn't true, I'm going nuclear on this motherfucker this morning, this little doggy dick jerker. <laughs> this this should not simply be a, I don't know what he's talking about, kind of a thing. I, I was like, I worked at Compound Media. I'm like, there's no touring. 
you know, and of course Bob blamed Chris Abel's, but of course I know it's I know it Bob. That's what Bob told him because Bob's full of shit constantly. So now now he's in business with these people that again they don't care. Listen, I, the reason I don't buy views is because I'm just lying to myself. Like if you're buying views, yeah, like I could understand that's what I if said. you're if if I if I bought you know we're at 502 viewers right now. Like thank you. If I go buy 300 more and I have and I look like I have 800, does that help me get more super chats? I I, I guess what you guys are saying is like if if it looks like the audience is bigger, people will donate to try to stand out. I don't you know first of all, don't be cringe. I don't need my audience to try to stand out. You know how I want you to be stand out. Be funny. Be funny. Super chat if you have something funny or interesting to say. If you have information to say that you need to get my attention with, that's what you super chat for. Be funny. The voice chats are there to be funny. We raised the price because people were doing it too much. It was interrupting the show. Be funnier. Raise the bar. You know, this this idea that like if there were three hundred more people in here, you guys would all be, um, donating more to what pierce through the crowd. I don't get it. I don't get it. Levy land payment from January when it was uh, its own channel before joining the Shuley network. Oh, okay. So the Levy land payment was in January. When are the Chris Abel's payments? I've already closed the tab. The user is Steven dash Springer dash seven on Venmo. So do your own research. Steven dash Springer dash seven on venmo so do you think levy land brought and look i tried to do a little little uh detective work last night i went on the replayables i tried to like figure out if the chat room was active enough to really say you had 900 live viewers i can't do that i'm not good enough to do that stuff I did like on a replayables count the super chats i did scroll through it really fast and like do a do a very haphazard total of the super chats and it was like 200 and something dollars and you got four people on the show producer you know i don't know i don't know if that's sustainable you know so i i look <laughs> this is just as much a mystery to me it's very embarrassing to keep denying it if it's true like i said my advice to everybody would be just to fucking come clean you know, it just it gets it gets more and more complicated. And again, if Rob Saw comes out with a with a text from Bob after they deny it all today, and then Rob Saw, you know, God, you're lucky Rob Saw ain't organized. But if Rob Saw comes out with a thing from Bob going, "I'm sending you this guy. It's how you buy views. It's how we look popular. It's gonna look bad, man. It's gonna look bad." Brennan got two thousand subs in twenty four hours. Yeah, yeah, but look, so did I. Or not 2,000, but whatever. I mean, look, people do fuck around. People do fuck around. It's one thing to like, I, look, and I don't even know how much subs cost. If you buy me 2,000 subs, I don't know how much that costs, 200 bucks, 1,000 bucks, whatever it is. That's a one-time purchase. I imagine if you want, if, if, if I wanted 1,000 live viewers for this show and I had to go buy an additional 500, don't I have to do that every day? I have to go buy 500 for every show I do, right? It would add up. It would add up because that's what um, Rob Saul was saying. I can't afford to, like, keep buying viewers. You have to keep it up. It looks weird if I have 1,000 every day and then I just drop to 500 because I can't afford it anymore. You know? Subs are free. Okay, Mr. Green's dumb. You, you are out of this conversation. You clearly are not even on the same plane we're communicating on. Subs are free, Melton. Okay, you're not even like talking about the same thing we're talking about. <laughs> you're so fucking out of it. Um, look at Howard. He he conned everyone. These guys are part of that. Levy with the wrestling surely tricked me. I thought he was a good egg. I thought it's look. This doesn't make him a bad person. It definitely makes him a liar. You know, I I, I there's a there's a fake it till you make it mentality. Like there's a million. There's a million ways you could laugh this off and be like, you got us. We were fucking with Kevin. We were trying to make it look like we had 
a shit ton of live viewers to fuck with Kevin. It doesn't mean Julie's a murderer, the most dishonest guy in podcast. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to make this so much worse. You're going to make it so much worse. Uh, Barrister, not saying Shuley didn't buy views. He may have just saying there's no evidence yet that Shuley or TSN has bought views. Correct. Correct. But this, this indicates that people know what's going on. If it, if this is happening, more than one person knows what's going on. Producer Joe has to know. Shuley has to know. Bob has to know. Possibly the other producers have to know. Chris Abels has to know. If Chris Abels knows, I imagine that produ- that Bobby Fran guy probably knows. You know, Rob Saul knows that would, that must mean like people like Pat Dixon probably know. And I know Pat Dixon listens to this show. Hello, Pat, call in. If you're listening, I know you listen sometime. I would, I'd really appreciate some perspective here from what you know, you know, and I'm not trying to get anybody. Let's just, I'm just trying to find the fuck out what's going on. Cause someone's lying big here. Someone's really fucking lying. Colt C, I was watching an impeachment trial two weeks ago in the Dallas News Channel that was streaming. It started in the morning. 1.5 thousand uh, live viewers and a dead chat. Yeah, that's what I mean. So it is tough to, like, figure out what's real. Do you think a, a, an impeachment trial had, had fake viewers? No. No, I just think different forms of entertainment and different types of programming have different types of engagement. People watching an Eagle's Nest cam or a traffic cam probably aren't chatting as much as an interactive morning show where there's topics and opinions and things like that going on. You know, Georgia peach. Didn't Kevin say he had to pay Bob through Gina? Bob stinks. Formerly Lenny stinks. Eyewitness testimony is literally evidence. Surely. Yeah. I mean, this is Rob Saul saying like he was told by Bob how to buy viewers. And this, this kind of is interesting. Didn't Gina, didn't Kevin say he had to pay Bob through Gina? That would imply that Bob doesn't have a Venmo. And that would imply that the Levy land account isn't in control by Bob Levy. Could be in control by, but who else did Levy land? You know, I don't even know. Uh, Rob Saul. So I don't know what the fuck is going on. And I guess you could go back and do a deep dive on like the BS show or the Uncle Rico show a year ago and see what their views were. See if there was a point where they, you know, bumped up through the roof where it's obvious that something happened. I don't know. I don't know. I'm a- I'm just asking questions, man. I'm just asking questions. And I know if I'm watching this and I'm producer Joe or I'm Levy or I'm Shuli, I'm calling the fuck in right now. And, and, and stomping this the fuck out. You think I'm going to sit here and watch some guy go say that I'm buying views if I'm not? Like, get the fuck out of here. Just like I'm going to sit by and let Butch Bradley like run his mouth and say I'm threatening his family. It's like, okay, idiot, let's go. <laughs> let's go. So there's more evidence here of, of possible uh, view tampering than there is of me threatening Butch Bradley and I'm irate. So I don't know. Bob stinks. Formerly Lenny stinks. Bob has a Venmo. He uses Gina to evade taxes. I mean, these are all allegations. We don't know if this is true. Gina's always been very, very nice to me. The one time I met her hacker hacker, they will blame Abel's you're out of your mind. If you think their view count is real. Yeah. I don't know, man. I, I honestly don't know. I, I don't know enough about YouTube to be able to forensically go look, they don't have enough likes for this number of views. I did see like some, some, you know, they have like 11,000 view videos with 300 likes. And then we're approaching 200 likes. Now hit the like button with only 945 views. So I don't know, but again, different level, different shows have different levels of engagement. I, you know, we put somebody in charge of the likes who remind people to hit the like button all show long. They don't necessarily do that. Uh, I I don't know, man. I don't know. So, look, it's it's more than interesting. And like I said, they go live in forty minutes. Uh, if they don't address this, if they try to sweep this under the rug and not make it a big deal, it'll be suspicious to me. And I'm putting that out there right now before the show. And I know somebody from that network is listening. 
Come on. Either Bob's listening or Joe's listening or somebody over there is listening. You try to make this not a big deal today. I'm telling you what, it looks like a big deal. It looks like a big deal. Someone goes on MLC and says, I'm, I murdered someone. I'm death threatening someone. It's a big fucking deal. It, it's a big deal. Snipe it. Yeah. We'll be sniping in the beginning for sure. I don't know how to not, I don't know how to not snipe that today. And again, this isn't even on my thumbnail. This is going to be a small thing. This is going to be a very small thing today. Hello. Uh, you know, I think you're missing out, though, man. Subs are free, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Subs are free, Milton. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. Ah! We're talking about buying subs, you idiot. Oh, oh, okay. Carry on. <laughs> subs are free, dog. Subs are free. Yeah, I uh, look, if this was me, I'm just telling you, if this was me, I'm caught. I'm caught. And I got to eat some shit this morning. I got to eat a shit sandwich. It, it's looking like they're caught. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And then what do you like? First of all, let me just say this. No one from YouTube's watching. You can come out on your show and admit you're buying views. No one's going to care. YouTube's not going to put the hammer down. You saying you bought views is just as, as official as you saying you didn't buy views. You know, it's like me saying I murdered somebody last night and they're buried in my backyard. It's like, wow, he admitted it on air. Get him. Doesn't make it true. It doesn't make it true. Ace, who was trying to get me in trouble with Kevin yesterday on the show, saw that. Can we talk about the elephant in the room who doxed your new house? Fuck you, dog. Fuck you, Ace. I didn't dox his new house. I pay attention. He's broadcasting from a new room, from a different room. No one's brought it up. Not one guest on his show goes, hey, are you in a new house? Okay. You think if Melton Mondays wasn't happening, I wouldn't be like, Kevin, did you move? Your TV's mounted on the wall now. The dresser's gone. The light's coming from a different direction. Maybe I'm the only one who notices stuff. You shit stirrers. I, all, I see every fucking one of you over there uh, who's in my chat, you know, being nice to me. I see you over there. Bob Stinks, formerly Lenny Stinks. You all hate me, you fuckers. I see you over there trying to get me in trouble with Kevin as if I give a shit. He's just trying to get back on him. <laughs> I love it when Melton puts on his detective hat. Naked, naked gun remake. Let's go. I'm just asking questions. I'm just asking questions. Crumb bum saying different room. I can't. I can't. I've, I've talked about this nine times. Fucking pay attention. You think he moved his dresser out of the way and mounted the TV after years of being in an apartment? Okay. Okay. I guess I just pay attention. Melton loves Kevin. I do. I love Kevin. He cracks me the fuck up. And look, Levy and Shirley crack me up sometimes, but this is cringe. This is cringe. You're crazy if you don't think this is going to spiral out of control if you keep denying it and we find out it's true. When I say we, like I, like I give a fuck. Like I, I don't have a horse in the race, so it doesn't, if they're buying views, it doesn't hurt me or help me. And if they're not buying views, it doesn't hurt me or help me. But I, uh, it is cringe to keep denying this if you're doing it. Just say you're doing it. Just say you're doing it. Who cares why everyone like, again, no one would the same way Chad was trolling with all the fake donations on, on stuttering John. Do we all keep holding that against Chad? No, it was funny. It was funny. So like that day when they had 2,500 live viewers and then they'd never come close to that since it's like something's up, something is kind of up. So just, just say it, just go. Yeah. We're fucking with Kevin. Sorry. We got caught. I don't know. I guess because then the implication is, well, why you been doing it for nine months or a year? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, you need to get monetized or you want to get your subscribers up or, or you have advertisers. That's another reason why I don't have advertisers, you know, because I don't want to I don't want to uh, be at the mercy of these stupid advertisers. But but 
you know, if you buy views or you buy super chats, you buy any stuff, you're you're just lying to yourself. I guess the intent yeah. is that's the to- thing. It's it's a money loser. Like, aren't we in this to make money? How much of your budget is going to buy views? It I don't think it it, it fundamentally increases your super chats, your ad revenue, or your I guess sponsor bottom lines but again how much is rustic steaks or factor or shave kit whatever the fuck it is like how much could you be getting is it is it fundamentally that big of a deal from 500 views to a thousand views from factor you know what i mean like fool people into thinking you're doing better than you are well, i mean the thing yeah, is fake uh, it till you make it yeah right? i mean like uh if, if someone comes across your show like for me i know it's like it's like, like joey c joey c like bought thousands of new subscribers for his channel it's like does that make you popular I, does that make you a success no, no one still watches that show. So now you just now you're a six thousand sub channel that no one watches. So did you get us? Go and see a show that looks maybe like it's interesting. Um, if I see it has five views, I'm like, oh, this is a shit show. I'm not going to watch it. But if you see it's got more views, you're like, oh, okay, well this is something legit, you know. Yeah, I understand that because I, yeah. uh, Danny Polachuk or the guy, the guy from Canada, who's uh, him and uh, uh, Ryan the Long, guy's, uh, the the other guy from Canada, something Long. Uh, uh, he's been on Ryan, the Ryan Long. Anyway, uh, uh, Danny, we should have him on someday. He he w- just watches shows live that are that are w- being watched by nobody, like like zero viewers or three viewers or. Uh, you know, basically Kevin Abrowski. Just say Iraq, Iraq. <laughs> and and you know, and shout out to Kevin Abrowski because he should have bought viewers. He should have bought. I mean, he would leave stuff on his uh channel with like eight views, and it's like, I think they I think they they just give you forty just to just for to encourage you. So right. he had a bunch of he had a bunch of videos under ten views after they were up on his platform not live after they're up so so some people should absolutely buy i get what you're saying (laughs) like like if you go to a live show and it's being watched like right now uh, we have 724 people so that's not that's not great but it's not terrible so yeah it's better than three though i know everyone's sniping me and i got you know whatever and so i you know i i'm aware of what's going on but still yeah if it was being watched by 27 people then that's bad, you know? So, so that's just how it goes. So I understand people want to impress, uh, they just want to impress people, but basically you're lying to yourself. And it also, it's a violation of community guidelines for YouTube. It's their number one thing under community guidelines. If If it's not a copyright strike, I think community guidelines is probably, you know, is the easiest way to get nabbed. Uh, uh, you know, copyright strike is easy because a lot of times you do a copyright strike, you don't even know it's a copyright strike. They're like, oh, you yeah. can't put that thing up. But, but uh, community guidelines. So hold on, there. They just, I just got a notification to watch the Shuli show live in thirty minutes, and the thumbnail and everything for the show is Stuttering John. And the title of the show is Snipe Stream Take 22. So they're going to just be going over stuttering. Jo- I, I will say this, guys. It's it's a little much over there now. Everybody teased everybody five months about it over there at Shuli about Stuttering John. Like, enough with the Stuttering John. It's like, it's become everything now. I used to watch the BS show when I got done with this show because it was like, friends hanging out having fun and there were bits and it was never about stuttering john at all every day now hours of stuttering john on on the bs show every day stuttering john is just uncle rico now and then in the afternoon every day they do uncle rico which used to just be on weekends it's it's too much now so if you don't care about uncle rico or stuttering john which i don't I just personally do not. It's unbearable now to watch. I I can't. I can't. 
So for me, you've ruined the BS show because the BS show has become the Uncle Rico show. It, it's just fucked for me. I really enjoyed that show. I really did. You used to hear me. I used to get shit for it. Now I turn it on. I have to fast forward. I, I watch the first five minutes where they're hanging out and having fun and talking. Then they pull up a John video and I fast forward 45 minutes till the end when they get into something else. I don't care about John. And look, this is me. You can go, fuck you, Melton. That's what we do. Fair enough. Fair enough. But what's the, it's like Chad. Chad did a Kumia's Cucks yesterday that was all just about the drama in this world. Or sorry, Chad did a, a Mondays with Mazer yesterday that was all about the drama in this world. And that show's not supposed to be about the drama in this world. Further muddying Chad's brands. Kumia's Cucks, Mondays with Mazers, Tuesdays with Tony the Tiger, Wednesdays with Waldo, um, Mud Sharks with Misery, Melton in the Mornings. All of Chad's shows are the same show. The football, it's all just the same show now. It's all just Chad just denying allegations. He finally said he wasn't arrested yesterday. So maybe, you know, not that that means anything. But, um, yeah, I don't know, man. For me, the BS show sucks when it's Uncle Rico. It's like Uncle Rico's Uncle Rico. Now there's literally no difference between Uncle Rico and the BS show because you just watch this. They've been watching this one Stuttering John show for like, four weeks I can't I can't and look I know it's me I know maybe it's me man I get it that's where your bread and butter is stuttering John that's what you're gonna do fair enough fair fucking enough but you guys had you guys were having fun in the morning and it wasn't about uncle uncle it wasn't about stuttering John and I mean all this this is like before stuttering John was coming back god that show was good in the morning it it kept moving. There were different topics. It never like I don't I don't know, man. For me, it's just over over there. I, I I find myself watching less than half the show. And this is I like Shuli. I have nothing against Shuli. I like producer Joe. Those guys have always been nice guys to me. They've always been straight up with me. I, I they do things for me. I do things for them. I, I, I even if this comes out where they're buying views, it's like that doesn't make them criminals. It doesn't make them. The worst people on earth. What makes it crazy is to keep saying you're not. When like evidence is stacking up. It's like, I don't know, man. It's a bad look. It's a bad look. Bob stinks. I never claimed to like you in the first place. Fair enough. What is this? <laughs> um, single mother of five. I think Vinny, the lawyer, was trolling them uh, with that 2,500 live viewers. He's mentioned it several times, and it still looks like only Chris doing it. Um, what? I don't know what you're saying. Uh, all the stuff John hate just reeks of jealousy. Oh, you mean for me? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, for me, it's just it's like I don't know. I I'm just not interested in stuttering John. You can call it jealousy or whatever. I'm happy to talk about it. It's not that I haven't tried to watch it. It's not even that I don't get it. Like, Stuttering John's a fucking idiot. I do get it. But, like, everyone in this world is on Stuttering John. So, like, I just feel like I have to not cover it. And also, it's the same way a lot of people can't wrap their fucking heads around stuff. It's like, I'm not a stern guy. So I don't have any former, like, hang-ups or preconceived notions or opinions about Levy, Shuley, Stuttering John, Casey Armstrong. To me, they're all new guys. To me, they're all new guys. What I know about Stuttering John is he's been picked apart like clean by a lot of podcast buzzards. So it can look, it can reek of jealousy all you want. I don't, I'm not into it. You can believe it's because I'm jealous or man, I you're right. I wish I could make fun of Stuttering John. Wish I had those chops. Is that what you believe? You know, like, I just, oh, I just don't know how to make fun of stuttering John. How would I even get into it? It's like, Hey, I'm not like, it's like you got Bob Levy and Shuley making fun of stuttering John. I would argue that's probably the most qualified people to do it. Accompanied by Carl from WATP, who's also qualified only because he's been doing it for so long. I don't know the history. I couldn't call out the things that I can call out about the people I do stuff on Michael Ray Bauer, 
um, Ty Rivera, Butch Bradley. It's like I know these guys' history for a decade or longer. So I'm insightful and have commentary involving that. I, you know, Bob Levy and Shuley can pull out stuff about Stuttering John. I'll never know or ever be able to know because they were around him. Um, just is what it is. I, to me, though, it's like Stuttering John is on every thumbnail coming out of the Shuley network now, and it, and it it makes me sick. It might just be me, but it feels saturated as fuck. Because also every thumbnail from like WATP is like Stuttering John. And then now Stuttering John is like appearing on the Joey C show and Stuttering John's on the Little Mirror show and Stuttering John's on the the Casey Armstrong. So it's like, yeah, I just, yeah. It's just a little much, you know? There's a lot of Stuttering John. So I feel like if I came, I mean, let's be honest to my audience. Let's just ask. If I came on here in the morning and started doing Stuttering John every day, how shall that go over with my crowd? Wouldn't you guys be like, well, it's enough stuttering John, Melton. We've had enough stuttering John over here. So thank you, Bob. I appreciate that. But what is what what is just is, man? What is is? You know, it's nuts. Um, Salvatore, uh, what are you saying? John was picked apart by way better podcast legends than Shuley way before Carl. What people don't know is that Carl and WATP rehashes what's already been done by ROTC and Jesse. See, I don't even know that. See what I mean? It's just like it's a bone that's been picked pretty clean um, and that other people can definitely do better than me. I don't I, I have no clue about the lore of Stuttering John, so I wouldn't even know what to call out. I, I Like, I don't know anything about his kids, really, other than the trans thing. I just I, I wouldn't be good at that stuff. Pod, Pod Awful and Ethan Ralph and RTC and many other guys have gone after Sut Joe long before Carl broke it down for the older crowd who wasn't on the net 10 years ago. Okay. See, I didn't even know that. So it's even older. It's even more covered than I thought. I don't know. I don't know. This is going to be great. This is going to be great. But you do Ray and Steel Toe, you hypocrite. Yeah, I mean, nobody does Steel Toe like me. When I when I came into this world, it was, it was Chad covering Steel Toe. And Chad covering Steel Toe is like Chad covering anything else. Chad can't. Chad isn't. Chad doesn't pay attention. Chad isn't organized. Chad can't present thoughts in any sort of cohesive manner. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've i wrecked Steel Toe. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I've wrecked Ray. Have you seen Ray have, have bigger meltdowns over anybody else than me? Did you fucking see the two weeks of Raytard Gate? Did you see what happened? I make that man scream. I make him scream. And say whatever you want about Steel Toe. I wrecked him. I wrecked him. I wrecked him. <laughs> so no, say, say whatever you want. No one's fucked Steel Toe over more than me. No one. Not Chad. Not Shuli. No one. I've wrecked him. Do a search for Steel Toe on YouTube and see what comes up. It's like doing a search on YouTube for Ty Rivera. <laughs> it's Melton. It's Melton wrecking him. It's Melton wrecking him. Bubble Popper 24. I say too much steel tone rate to each their own. Well, that's why that's why I'm doing this today. This th this seems to be interesting today. I look, we were gonna watch the Keanu and uh and April uh steel toe. That's that's gonna be interesting. We're still gonna do that. We're still gonna do that. Cause that is different. That is different. But yeah, I hear you out. I hear you out. We haven't, you know, I'm trying to do Ray's on, on what I call our tard Thursdays. I'm going to try to do Ray one day a week, minimum or maximum. And last week, of course, you know, Chad, it was a big Chad week. So look, stuff just happens. I can't, you know, it's ebbs and flows. I didn't, I didn't anticipate this being two hours of today. But as we've gone into it, as we've watched it, it gets more and more and more um, apparent that something's up here. And I'm very interested to see how they react today and what they say. Because, again, there's two ways to play this. 
And I th- I'm afraid you guys are right. I think they're going to go live and be like, they're saying we buy views. Can you imagine? And then they'll go. Anyway, back to John. Because that is the thumbnail. The thumbnail this morning is, <laughs> here we go again with John. It's like, ugh. Ugh. And by the way, imagine being like Mike Morse on this show. You know, if I'm Mike Morse down in that lower corner, I mean, like, guys, hello. Are we buying views? <laughs> you know? Holy shit. Bill Bixby, ban all the women from this chat so we can discuss things. If you get us to 300 likes, we'll kick all the women out. Uh, realize that when 9 a.m. comes, Patrick, uh, they do 10 minutes of intro. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I understand. Onion, are you going to snipe BS? Uh, Flat Cat, I need you. We might ban you anyway. I, I, are you slow? You're in the chat watching the show. We've said it. For 30 minutes, I've said, we can't wait for BS to come on and see what they say. Yeah, we're sniping it, you dumb bitch. You dumb bitch. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm turning into k over here. I mean, Jesus Christ. I, 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 this is giving women a bad name. How dumb is this bitch? Uh, quick question, are you guys going to be watching the BS? Yes! Fuck! <laughs> what a dumb bitch. Jesus Christ. And then her excuse for that is, I'm not paying close attention. Then leave. Then shut the fuck up. You know, we have to stop every 10 minutes and give you a recap of what's going on. Fuck off. <laughs> You're allowed to not pay attention. Stop asking questions then. Just butt the fuck out. Does it even matter if we're going to cover it? Does it even matter if we're going to cover it then? Who cares? You're not watching. You're like, hey, are you guys going to cover the thing you've been talking about for 30 minutes? Yes. Sorry, I wasn't watching. I don't really watch closely. Then why do you care if we cover it or not? Fuck. Oh, wait 20 minutes and just see. Who can't? You're like, sorry, I'm just asking. I want to know because I won't be watching later either. <laughs> you fucking dumb bitch. Burn. Burn her. JK, JK. I just felt like having a meltdown there. Um... Melton reminds me of my father when he rants like that. Like, I mean, I it is it is that. That sums up this fucking show all together. It really does. It's like, hey, are you guys going to talk about them buying views? It's like, we've been talking about it for two hours. Sorry, I'm not watching. It's like, well, then why do you care what we're talking about? Just put it back on mute and do your hair, bitch. Jesus. Jesus. Holy shit, you know? Like, do you care or do you not care? Because if you cared, you'd be watching and know what we're talking about. But if you don't care, you wouldn't be asking what we're talking about. So which is it? Do you give fucks or do you not give fucks? I'm lost. I'm lost. <sighs> Some of us work. That's a good point. I do apologize now to Flat Cat. You might have been on a call. You know, Johnny Chopstick, sometimes it takes somebody like that to step out and put it in perspective for me. Flat Cat, I want to apologize. I was, I was out of line, actually. Flimsy Greenberg says Flat Cat's number one. I've been busting my humps getting you likes. You're right. I apologize. Justice for Flat Cat says KB. You're right. I apologize. I was out of line there. That was over the line. That was over the edge. That was over the edge, and I apologize. Um, I'd like to make it up to you, Flat Cat. What can we do? Could I sing you a song? Could I serenade you? Could I give you a palate cleanser? The bubble gunch. The bubble gunch. The bubble gunch. Rocking to the beat. The bubble gunch. The bubble gunch. The bubble gunch. Rocking to the beat. The bubble gunch. I'm just saying send her a shirt. Yeah, you want a shirt, flat cat? You want a hat? You want a visor? Don't forget our store has all new stuff that just launched yesterday. People are loving the new stuff. Also, stickers finally in the store. If you're looking for some NLO stickers, uh, you can buy yourself a 10-pack of stickers over there. We do have the Aaron M. Holt corn puzzle. You know? I call it the cornhole puzzle because his mouth is the cornhole. Anyway, all new stuff, including Rot Pocket merch. 
over at nobodylikesonions.com slash store. Head over today, support the show, buy something, and uh, show Flat Cat um, what it's worth. Can you repeat the repeat? What does that mean? Can you repeat the repeat? What is it like to have money to just waste on a super chat that I can't decipher? What is the repeat? <laughs> Can you repeat the repeat? Uh, what? Huh? Who? Wow, abusing your pan fan to promote your store. You got it. Hot shit. <laughs> Ah, we're doing it. We're having it. It's fun. We broke 200 likes. Congrats to Flat Cat. You've done it. You've made a real difference in my life. And, um, you know, I do apologize. That was a pool scam, Sam. So we're not going to be watching the BS show. I'll take, I'll take your response offline. Ah! Oh, God. All right. I can close MLC, right? We've heard enough. We don't need to hear any more of the accusations. I mean, we you get the point, right? Holy shit. Gino has scooted closer to Aaron. Holy shit. Holy shit. Look at this. Yeah, he's great. So why is that, Charlie? What's up, Charlie? No, I'm a, I'm absolutely the, the fact that Gino has a connection with Anthony Cumia and opening Anthony, the fact that I get to speak with him big fan of what Anthony and Openy did in the 90s and the 2000s. Massive fan. Thank you. Openy. I don't know why I'm thanking, but yeah. yeah I, I did, what did you do? I agree. Yeah, you're right. I heard myself say that and be like, God, yeah. I suck. Now I'm nervous. Imagine calling into Steel Toe and being like, as a big fan of Openy and Anthony, it's crazy that I get to talk to Gino, who's connected to them. He's giddy about talking to Gino because Gino's touched Anthony. <laughs> I will Right, Obi. Let's talk to Ryobi. Oh, tell me. You know where Ryobi's from. Do you know what's crazy? Is uh is uh Steel Toe won't take calls alone, but he feels brave with Gino there. He knows that April can't handle it. So like he'll never take calls while while it's just him and April. Matter of fact, one time Citizen M gave me the show number and and Mubi lost his mind on Citizen M. Like don't give out our number. And it's like, it's the call-in number for the show. It's public. And he's like, still, don't fucking do that. And, the, and it all comes in on his cell phone. All these calls come in on, like, you know, sidecar on his cell phone. He has it patched through. So he screens every fucking call. It's, it's madness. But he got so mad at Citizen M one time for giving Melton the call-in number. Are you there? I, any call in. No, Ryobi, this is Steel Toe. I, but I, you're on with Aaron and Gino, but we're having a hard time hearing you. People are right. What a good call. Uh, let me just get out of the way here. Hold on. Look at how close they're sitting unnecessarily. Look how much room is on the left of Gino on the right side of your screen. I mean, they are they are almost touching. <laughs> that That's wild. That was a good call. Whoever fucking uh, called that out. What an observation. I love it. Is this Rob Saul on the phone? Say hi. If we had anything better to do today, we'd be doing it. <laughs> yeah, he's right. All right. Crap. Some people said that Steel Toe must have been buying views, and that's why their numbers are all down. Like, they can't afford to buy views anymore. You know, once they stopped hitting the goal so much that, that they're live viewers. Because str they struggle to maintain 300-ish live views. Right now, they have 360, which is crazy. Um, Look at this. Bob Stinks. Is over in their chat says, why are you guys sitting so close? Piazzas. But he ski masked today. <laughs> and then look, Gino scooted away. Gino scooted away when he read that. He's leaning away now. Today, just like talking. He's to a Martin big show. Anthony Cumia fan. I'd say he's a fan of Fez, but Fez is dead. Oh, oh wait, hold on. We got more calls coming in this morning. Let's. Uh, he never yeah. takes calls. You guys know this. He never takes calls. He's brave because Gino's there. You boys are hotter than a steaming pile of shit this morning. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you. We appreciate that. Should we call in? What's the number? Hey, Citizen M, what's the number? They're taking calls. Let's call in. You are also Erica Transpatrick. How are you, buddy? I'm doing pretty good. Hey, I just want to do the uh, – well, I want to say you're you're so racist. You roll your hard R. Give me the number. He's taking calls. We can ask him about the boxing thing. He can't dodge it. He did the same thing that, uh, that um, Butch did. Where I was like, where I told Kevin, like, I'll take the money. Tell him he's never offered to pay me. I'll take the money. 
And then Kevin told Butch, Patrick says you've never offered to pay him. He wants the money. He'll accept the money. And Butch just went, he's lying. It's like, I'm right here saying I want it. He's lying. He doesn't want it. He won't take it. He's lying. Then I do the thing with, with uh, Aaron where I'm like, I accept. Let's box. I accept. How, when? Let's set it up. And he's like, he won't. He doesn't even leave the house. He's 600 pounds. He won't. It's like, I accept. Let's set it up. Let's do it. You won't. It's like, what do I have to do? You know what I mean? So let's call him. What's the number? No, it's uh, go both. All right. Go. See what I mean? It's his cell phone. So he's getting call waiting. What a, what, what a fucking Mickey Mouse operation over here. I'm a real broadcaster. I'm a real broadcaster. Garbage man. All right. Ryan, the, Ryan, the garbage man. How are you today, sir? Good morning, Aaron. Good morning, Gino. I was just kind of curious. Uh, Send the know, picture again, Yeti. Well, I, I didn't get it. it. I see it. I see the picture. Oh, Go ahead, Ryan, the garbage man. Oh, yeah, okay. Seven, Sorry, 700 uh, Gino, pounds. Where are you in Seattle, uh, going back to New York? We uh, head back tonight. Oh, that sucks. Why is that, uh, buddy? I'm delivering my... Well, I'm delivering my Apple Pie Moonshine on Thursday to Aaron in April. <sighs> Well, let me tell you, uh, they, the fact that I got so drunk, it looked like I he was... He can't get rid of the call waiting sound. This is your professional broadcaster. Soft Weekly's going, I have the number if you want it. Who are you, Flat Cat? I've screamed, give me the number. I've screamed it. I, I can't with these retards. Later, so is that, do wheelchairs make you retarded now? Is that what it is? Does the battery pack not have enough juice to carry your brain around with you? Is that what it is? You have to leave that home on the charger like a Roomba? I can't. Are you excited? I have the number if you want it. Scintillating. Now, I love you, buddy, and I definitely want to day, try guys. it. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> it's just, it really is a series of banal phone calls. Yeah, it is a Bach banal, to quote Keanu. Some would say we don't have the energy we had yesterday. I say bullshit. It's coming. I got to get another pot we of We had in ski mask. Thank you very much. All right, a little more Strike Force 5. I don't like the look of it. <laughs> no, we Never just mind. left you out to dry there. Never mind. Uh, sorry, sorry I, I think everybody would love to have Martin Short on their show. He crushes, it does not matter who the host is. All of you nobodies listening any, wait, to wait, this. That, that I agree with. What? It really doesn't matter who the interviewer is. You guys included. It doesn't matter. How does this? This is how unrelatable they've become. It's, do, do you think people at home are like, yeah, everyone would love. You know what? I'm sure to quote um, Mr. Burns, I'm sure every Johnny Lunch Pail and Susie Homemaker would love to have Martin Short on their show. I'm sure the people, I'm sure the uh, 88 year old fucking people who you fucking know what have it a is. family. I don't even look. And I know I say this when I don't know a guy very well. And then I get to know him and I absolutely loathe them. But I don't even necessarily mind uh, Gino that much. I don't. I really, truly, and and definitely don't understand why Gino hangs out and thinks a guy like Mooby is cool. I really don't get it. Hello. All right. I love that they call. People call in and can't wait for me to finish a sentence. They have to hang up. They're like, I didn't know you'd be talking when you answered. Bye. <laughs> It's like, could you wait for me to finish the sentence before I answer and acknowledge you? Gee, I, like, if I don't get to the call in 13 seconds, they hang up. They're like, fuck this. Like, I'll never get to them. As if every radio station they've ever called into before, they take their, their you're on air immediately when it starts ringing. <sighs> Holy shit. I, I don't know. I don't know. I think we're going to have to switch over and do the Keanu uh, um, Keanu April cast because at least that's interesting. It's steel toe, but it's interesting. And I guess April got drunk and started talking about how her and Mooby got started dating. And she called him like an embarrassing disaster or something. I don't know. It's very, it's. It's a story I want to hear uh, told to me. I'd love to be regaled by that. But either way, you know, that's that's what I'm into today. But I also know we can't 
really dive into it like I want to because um, we got this BS show situation about to happen. And look, again, you know, this is a, a, a show that at least a couple months ago, producer Joe used to listen to this show. Bob Levy used to listen to this show. Bob Levy would call in. Shuley would text. So I don't know. Either they're not listening to this show or they are listening and they're panicking. I don't know what the deal is. We can't wait. We can't wait to see what's going on. Um, and how you handle this shall echo throughout eternity. I, I, I do have a feeling this could go poorly. There are 67 people waiting, and again, they're this is what they're going with for for the show. Can you believe stuttering John drools? If you if you think this is jealousy, like you're just not paying, like this is every thumbnail. Stuttering John spits on himself, guys. It's crazy. It's like he's an idiot. <laughs> and it's even called take 22. Take 22. Of uh, of the stuff. So um, we're gonna watch it. I know they do their long intro roll, but we're gonna watch it. I I don't know. I don't know. I'm just as baffled as everyone else. All right, let's watch. I guess we'll start the canoe thing because we get we're gonna have to wait twenty minutes for their intro. Dun, 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 dun. Steel toe, morning, show. I wait for the robot voice, my favorite part. Steel toe, morning, show. You're yeah, listening, listening to, to the, the steel, steel toe, toe morning, morning, show. show. You are listening to steel, steel toe, toe, morning, morning show. show. It's like that, right? It's like a robot. You're, You're listening, listening to, to steel, steel toe, 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 morning, morning show. show. This, this is, is steel, steel toe. toe. Morning show. Yeah, yeah, see? Welcome to the Steel Toe Morning Show. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Steel, steel Toe Morning, morning show. show. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Steel, steel Toe morning, morning Show. Somebody said Chad's here? Hold on, did, did somebody give membership? Oh, I thought we caught Chad with a gifted membership again. <laughs> That'd be great. I don't watch it anymore. I just turn on memberships and take down videos. Nothing about this show evokes a feeling of fire. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Or boots. Or heavy metal. Nothing about this show indicates any kind of toughness or blue collar work ethic you know it's literally like the palest guy in minnesota going guys we need money (laughs) good morning everybody you are all so good looking april has her calm glasses she earned it Two fucking whores. Hello, I'm sorry. We're a little unprepared at the moment. Why go live then? Yes. Why would you go there live? She is. Women are late to everything. Imagine wanting to get paid the same. <laughs> All right, I have a new boss tonight. Her underwear is out. Somebody called this out. This is a great point. How come uh, April? How come April didn't get the main oh, seat? Kiki gets the main oh seat. Hello. Good oh evening. Gosh. Well, pause that. By the way, this show with two quote unquote smoking hot babes got less views than any night show they've done in six months. I went back and looked. This was the least viewed night show in six months. And he called it Steel Toe Hose. On the thumbnail, he called it Steel Toe Hose. Stop sexualizing April. Movie called these women hose. 
podcast, in hot water, <laughs> steel toe, morning show uh, conglomerate. Um, we're excited to be here. Oh, my gosh. Remember, she's really educated, and she just said conglomerate. She put an N in it. In it. Conglomerate. Guys. This is We've so taken fun. over because the other two are upstairs. Making love. Making love, making we are wondering, all the butt stuff. Yes, we're wondering. I'm not really a headphones person, but That's we're fine. wondering how. <laughs> I'm not an on time person. I'm not a comedy person. I'm not a headphones person. Yeah, 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 yeah. How they're doing it. Tell us in the chat how you think. Doggy style. Um, or is, is there tears? Is it rough is sex? It, is it sensual? It's very sensual. I feel I feel it's very sensual. Oh, producer Roberto, my producer. Oh, producer hello. Robert is here. Hi, Kiki and April. I see you. I hear you. I feel you. Yes. Why do all the smallest shows with no listeners have producers? I love it when he shows up. So many people behind Gino's compound media show you know there's a booth and people are doing lighting and graphics and call you know it's like gino can't get 20 viewers on a fucking stream it's no. it always feels like college it always feels warm all the way down it lasts you start sweating eventually that's their love making upstairs you're talking oh, about okay. i feel yes, yes. who's it's pitching awesome. and who's catching okay. comedy well gino's the more girly emotional one um, but I feel that like so if it's like um if it's like a uh what's the movie? Um if it's like a broke back mountain moment, I feel like Aaron will be the um the Heath Ledger. He's More spitting. Like, I don't I don't wanna do this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I have to and then cr crying and then I wish uh, I knew how to quit um, you. Gino would be the Jake Gyllenhaal, like the more. If Gino's the more sensitive uh, prissy of the bunch, wow. Wait, you, hmm. And then he punches something. <laughs> I think we all have we to. We do know April is a little tougher than, uh, than Aaron. Like, you know, she comes from a factory. She shovels the sidewalk. She roofs. Aaron's like, I'm waiting for the cyberpunk expansion. My friend Elliot, can I answer the phone? I have not talked to him since like I got in She's answering the phone. Women suck at this. I'm sorry, ladies. You're all dumb. Um, Elliot, I'm so I'm so sorry I haven't called. You are literally live on the air right now. We're doing the Steel Toe Morning Show takeover. Um I but don't consent to this being recorded. You don't consent to it? No. Okay. Shall I hang up or, or can we can we will you sue? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm engaged. I haven't had a moment it's to a call you. It's a good joke. But, uh... It's a really good joke. I don't consent to this being recorded. All right, we're seven minutes out. I do love this intro. This intro is hilarious. <laughs> this loop with Stuttering John is fucking hilarious. And let's see what the chat's like over here now. Um, the views, Paya. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. The views payer. Holy shit. <laughs> Got him. The views payer. Holy shit. Oh, hold on. They're saying it's 43 seconds out. I need to refresh. I'll just hit live. You guys, you don't need to hit refresh. That's not how it works. <laughs> okay. 20 seconds out. It's time to wake up. I love how it's 9 a.m. And they're like, it's time to get out of bed. It's like, it's time to get out of bed? It's 9 a.m. <laughs> you should have got out of bed like two or three hours ago. All right, here we go. Oh, sorry. Fuck. Let me turn on the time to get out of bed. Time to get out of bed. Get out of your coffee, you son of a bitch. Look, I'm on the show instead of Mike Mars. Gonna wake up, bitch, cup. It is catchy. I don't even know what song this is. Mustard on the beat? <laughs> Get the fuck out of bed, bitch, go. 
Get the fuck out of bed, bitch, go. Get the fuck out of bed, bitch, go. Get the fuck out of bed, bitch, go. Hey, are we gonna be Skype sniping this? Are we gonna be sniping this shit right? Get the fuck out of bed, bitch, go. No, Mike Morse. Cover Mike Morse. Mike fucking Morse. Ah! Yeah. All right, here we go. Yeah. What's going on? Hey. Hey. What do you know? Like, what's what's the problem? What? You're asking we me. Paid, we paid for 600 viewers at 9 a.m. Oh it's boy. Seven. We're at 447 viewers. Wait a minute. Was that uh, Eastern time? I thought it was Pacific. I don't know. The guy's in India. I don't know what time zone they're on over there. I no, thought... we we said what? specific, specific, uh, Bob, not Pacific. Uh, fuck. Uh, Do you want me to call Mr. YouTube? Call call New Delhi YouTube. Tell them that uh, we need this. God damn it! Now we look like idiots. <laughs> fuck. Oh, God. Call a Delhi. Now, I guess. I guess the the jig is up, as they say. Uh, we have been we have been thwarted. By the one and the only <laughs> Rob Song. <laughs> I can't even say with a straight face. Uh, hi, everybody. Welcome. Welcome. Yes, most of us are fake. We're not fake. None of this is real. We told you this a long time ago. Mm -hmm. None of this world is real. I just want to say something. Bob passed away eight months ago. <laughs> this is all AI. This is all yeah. I see what I mean. I it, this is what they're gonna do. They're gonna make it like a big laughing thing. It's like, I mean <laughs> uh first off, good morning everybody. Shula here with you, along with Mr. Zenhauser, Anthony Zenhauser, Mike Morse, the Reverend Bob Levy. Uh welcome to the BS show. A lot to get into. <laughs> lot to come. I mean, and we'll start with the Rob Saul thing. Uh I I wanna bring in uh someone who knows rob pretty well Worked why wouldn't you bring rob on bring rob on thoughts is this on this as well ladies and gentlemen please welcome host of uh one of the hosts of the replayables along with bobby fran of course the great producer shawnee ladies and gentlemen please welcome chris abels to the show yep sounds Dude. like he's hey, on me uh, yeah chris hey, how no. are you and real hey, quick guys. let's say good morning to kevin brennan who's watching hey buddy Hey, KB, KB uh, in LO. Uh, hey, um, these numbers should be going up because now I'm on here. And uh, so I've got direct contact. And I was you know like, what? as soon as you see me live, let's jump the numbers. We found out no matter what we pay, the numbers never go up when you're on. I don't know why. We I, know. I know. I know. See, uh, see, that's why it doesn't make sense what Rob was saying. But go ahead. I'll, I'll get into it. Well, I mean, it. you know, Rob... From my point of view, this is this is what I think uh, this is all stemming from. Is Rob, you know, Levy Land uh, had stopped, and um, you ended up doing replayables and ended up getting great views, and and you know people were into it. Uh, Rob had reached out to me. Spending money. What's that, buddy? Know, spending money on super chats, like they, yeah. it became a, a. It's a fun thing for people, as I see watching it. That's the bottom line. People enjoyed watching it. They enjoyed yeah. being a part of it. So um, yeah. Rob was not a part of it. And I think I nice. know that bothered Rob. And Rob had texted me, you know, that he would really like to get the Rob Saul show on, uh, on, on the network. And, you know, my issue with Rob goes back to early on in Levy Land where, you know, I Mine too. Up. Well, I pulled up his So they're spending all their energy on painting Rob Saul as a bitter ex girlfriend. And look, Rob admitted that last night. They took away the Levy land. Abel's was getting paid. Levy's still getting paid. I wasn't getting paid. Kind of fucked me over, but it's like, that's not what we care about. We don't care that Rob Saul was jealous. Clearly, 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 clearly. And both things can be true. So. And you're by yourself, yeah. you know. Um, and, and and this isn't a knock on you. It's just it's just right, yeah, what it was, you know. So right. I wasn't very eager to throw the Rob Saul show up on the network um, because my first experience with Rob is yeah, when Rob I sucks. Like again, you don't have to paint Rob as a bad comedian and stuff. This is such a waste of time. 
Did you get arrested last month? I mean, answer the question. Uh, we get it. Rob's a bitch. Rob's a jealous bitch. Is he lying? And if so, what are all these payments for? You know, that's the question. I didn't want him on the network. Like, this is all irrelevant. You asked for some format. Uh, he said that something, we would bring format. And, and there was no format. Uh, so they're justifying why they didn't put Rob Saul's show on the network. Because if anybody cares or has asked that question. No one cares about this. Shuli, come on. I didn't know Rob. I mean, according to him, he's a 2008 uh, Emmy Award winning podcaster or some shit like that. Obviously, they've upped the standards. Um, so he, but from day one, he always thought that it should be him and Bob. Like uh, the first time that we had like Jim Norton. How much time on, are they going to spend land, painting him as we jealous? On our own channel. Um, Rob would always figure out ways to cut me out of all the interviews. Anytime there was a big guest, uh, he would never, he would say, oh, I sent you the link. I don't know what's going on and, and stuff like that. So, I mean, that's a little behind the scenes bullshit. So we've kind of had our shit from the beginning. Um, right. and, and as the show rolled on and people started not liking him, uh, he would uh, look at, look say, at, uh, really Bob stinks. Like and, and I'm like, dude, you're an asshole. And, and I mean, it's, it translates not just on the show, but also in real life, you're an asshole. And, uh, so he always hated the fact that when I would fuck with him and say, oh, I'm second mic on that show. No, fuck that. I'm second mic. It's a, it's a territory thing for him. And he was like, I'm yeah. second next to Bob. I'm but this isn't that. new. Like yeah. he, he basically yeah. quit the show or whatever, uh, uh, several times, a breakdown about seven times i mean and, and this happens all the fucking time see bobby fran is in their chat attacking me going let's piss off melton all you fake viewers see you tomorrow night for replayables it's like th that's such a bitch move and i'm telling you that's not going to work out for you because i've been a supporter of the shuley network bobby fran you know i don't know who bobby fran is but you're acting like a bitch dog you're acting like a fucking bitch dude do you think I think they're all fake? I see the names in there. I understand these are real people. They they do this thing all the time where you go like, we're all fake. They, they super chat and yeah, I guess we're all fake. It's like no one's saying you're all fake. No one is saying that. Are you buying views? It's like, it's a totally different question. So this, this, this disingenuous bullshit where they're like, Hey everybody, uh, hi all you fake users, and they're all like, we're not fake, we're not fake. It's like, of course not all of you are fake. Fuck. Like, I've been mentioning this. I've been working on doing something for myself for about three weeks now. You know what I mean? I've been saying it on here. And it, it's amazing how he does, this is what he does. And then he's going to be like, oh, I didn't know, why didn't you tell me? I don't have to tell you until things are done. I don't have so to not tell only anybody that, anything. But not only do you not have to tell him, like if he's quote unquote a friend, then 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 maybe, you know, just just uh, wait, just go and do your thing and tell your friend like who what why does everybody owe him something? That's what I don't understand. Is, well, the, is because he doesn't do anything like by by himself. Like every like if you look at everything that he's done, basically, he's done it because of me. I brought him. I brought him everywhere I went. Right. Everywhere. All this time is being spent on what a betrayer Rob Saul is and how jealous Rob Saul is. They're not addressing anything. Surprise me because he is uh, shit on my show from the jump. Um, they haven't addressed anything yet. My show from the jump. He's <laughs> shit on the fact that you guys uh, put it on the Shuley Network. Doesn't surprise me. Um, he yeah, but okay, another thing. One thing, hold on. One thing, when I said to you guys... Levy is a strong Catholic name. I go, it's totally up to you. Are you the pub landlord? <laughs> that is a fucking fact. I, it, to me, it doesn't matter. It didn't matter to me either way. And right. both of you said, I want to come here. Right, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, I mean, initially, when Levy Land was on its own channel, Bob was over here doing shows with you and stuff like that. He did say, do you guys want to take Levy Land to the Shuley Network or do you want to stay on our channel? We both said, yeah, uh, let's take it over to the Shuley Network mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Um, and, and we both agreed. He got mad when the show wasn't generating. See, what people don't understand is if the show isn't generating income and stuff like that, you're still paying producers, you're paying people. You're, uh, I mean, me, I'm paying for viewers. So uh, none of this has anything to do with anything. What a bunch of smoke and mirrors. Jesus Christ. That was a total, by the way. 
Well, uh, what what he was saying yesterday though was, and I mean, he sits there and bombards me with text after text. Where when's Levy Land coming back? Uh, how's come? How's come? You're on the show twice a week. Hey, I'm off Wednesdays. I'm off Fridays. Can you get me on your show? Can you get me on your show? Will you come on be on my show? And I haven't answered him, but I haven't answered him because he was a fucking asshole to me. The very last interaction that we had. And at that point I was like, dude, you're fucking dead to me. And so he, cro <laughs> he crossed the line. And so when Jesus I was like, you're Christ. fucking dead to me, I'm not going to do anything. Yeah. They're just explaining like why shows were on the network, why some weren't on the network, how, why, why Rob Saul's bitter. They're not answering any questions. It backfires where he, he just uh, tries to shit on you or whatever. So he can say whatever the fuck he wants to anybody that'll listen to him. I don't care. Um, he, he's well, you obviously have, you have pissed to, off. You have to take into account somebody that, you know, uh, the second they can runs to a show that's shit on them uh, worse than, than anything we've ever said about him. I mean, just tore him apart. Uh, he, he, to, think, to think for a second that Kevin respects you or thinks you're good at anything uh is a joke this is all so for him to go running away. this is all peripheral irrelevant bullshit no one thinks rob saul's cool no one thinks kevin likes rob saul or me or Bob or any kevin doesn't like anybody kevin's a fucking selfish narcissist he's funny and that's why we like him no one's invested in kevin no one's hurt by kevin just like Kevin, I get hurt when I call him a fucking idiot. Like, this is, who cares? And he knows this. How? How does he know this? How, what's his evidence of this? I, I didn't watch the interview. I was on the air. Uh, he didn't want, nobody's watched the interview. They don't even care about these accusations. <laughs> so they're not going to be able to address it because they didn't even watch it, guys. That's what's going to happen right now. Okay. Uh, I don't doesn't, know doesn't what Kevin the have a bicycle. Doesn't he have a bicycle? Right. Like, no, what he is he finally he cars? finally bought a fucking used truck or something like oh, that. Uh, we have two you. cars here, and it, it, it's like, what? What does it even matter? This guy is a fucking lunatic. Nothing. Yes, thank you, Robert. Uh, is it, <laughs> yeah, I heard him arguing saying Levy's only got one car. I was like, between Rob and Kevin, they have zero cars. Neither one of them. <laughs> We're have. talking about how many cars people have and who's cooler. I, 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 what is happening right now? This doesn't look good. I'll tell you that. It really doesn't look great. And that, uh, he's bitter that he doesn't have a show on the network. He comes. He definitely is. That's neither here nor there. <laughs> everybody he calls people names and wonders why people fucking hate him. He thinks he can generate hate chat. Holy and, shit. Um, I can't believe can this. If I'm Bob Levy, I come out immediately and go, I didn't buy views or tell him to buy views. What the fuck? They're all going like, he said, I don't have a car. Kevin rides a bicycle. Well over a year. And Rob kept saying, I'll pay you next week. I'll pay you next week. Well, Sean's a nice guy. And he kept taking that. He owes Sean well over $1,200. And, and I said, Rob, you need to pay Sean, dude. Sean's a good kid. You need to pay. This him. is crazy. They're going like, and one time he got arrested for drunken driving. So he's not a good dude. But he owes Sean well over twelve hundred dollars, um, and and I mean it's just shit like that. And and Rob actually took advantage of Levy Land because we we started a Patreon. And uh, we, what does this have to do with anything? What is it? Why won't they just fucking address the accusations? They're, this is like a character assault on Kevin and Rob. Who cares? Who cares? Does anybody think Rob's cool? Does anybody think Kevin's legit? No. Now answer the questions. He was pulling in right around 450, 500 a month. You think that he, me and Bob seen any of that money? Fuck no. The guy's a conniver. I don't care. So, you know, he can say what he wants. He can say what he wants and stuff like that. Melton is showing Venmo receipts. Melton's showing Venmo receipts for marketing that I do. So what? I pay somebody to market the show. There, you guys can look it up. You can go on the fucking internet and look how to market your YouTube show. So you see receipts where how to market your YouTube show. What does that even mean? It's to pay for live views. Are you going to pay a hundred dollars for uh, live viewers? Hi, that dead fool. Nothing for you. No, it's dead fool throwing out the yes. super chats and stuff like that. So it doesn't matter if you have a hundred people watching you or 200 people watching you or a thousand people watching you. If people are super chatting the show and supporting the show, that's what matters. Yeah, I know Fake that. Do you don't fucking matter? The so that look, they're showing the dead full hundred dollars, but they've skipped every 
There have been four or five Super Chats asking direct questions, and they skipped over all those to put the dead fool on the screen. It's like a business model, and I'm trying to increase the same way that you pay for Facebook uh, boost and, and Instagram boost and stuff like that, or you pay for a fucking commercial. How do you pay for a YouTube boost? Ian, do you know anything about this kind of stuff? Is there legit YouTube marketing to be done? I'm dying. So, yeah, produce all the fucking Venmo receipts you want. I mean, I didn't well, say they were, so they proved they're, they're, anything. That's everybody in the chat. We're and, asking uh, questions. Melton, Melton's showing receipts. Melton's showing No, receipts. I'm not. <laughs> he can. I mean, well, I mean I, they are literally receipts. <laughs> they are literal receipts. On my show, surely. And, and the other thing is, is when they were on that fucking show yesterday, they were trying to say that uh, uh, I sat back and watch obituaries and look for people to die. So I, and I specifically look for dead people that have no errors. So that way I can go and take their property. I'm like, <laughs> Dude, you guys have no fucking idea how much. What are we talking about? I don't even know what's going on. You can say anything you want. Deadpool said they do that with John, too. They do what? Knowing how to do something. So yeah, and also the people can be on their way to dying. I mean, I love how they're keeping this one up. They skipped several other Super Chats asking questions. Crystal meth. That's what I do. They might circle back and get them. I do that sometimes, so I'm not saying they're, they won't. I don't understand. I have receipts. <laughs> do you want to see my crystal meth receipts? I have Let's them. Venmo. Let me see your Venmo. Ed Fool, thank you for the hundred bucks, yeah, my nice. friend. Appreciate it. Hi, Pat. Um, Shuli, you're doing a great show in there, ain't Now they're showing regular chats instead of the super chats that have come in. But you know, the uh oh Kevin the Kevin's great. mad and he 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 robs me of four grand. That's well, the that's funny the thing. thing I see, they're all doing this this thing, like all the simple super chat and go, We're not fake. Oh, I'm so fake. It's like yeah, I'm not I don't think reels is fake. I don't think Tiff is fake. I don't think Deadpool is fake. Are you guys dumb? <laughs> Chats don't start rolling in. I, I can't even get him yeah. to call me back. What do you mean send him the fucking link? Uh, he but, can't even get me to call him back. What? Who put on a call? I've never not called Julie back ever. Five hours of him fighting over $1,200 that somebody's owed, that was owed to him that he didn't. Oh, wow. So they're turning on me now. Look at this. Pay the people you owe. It's not right. You're a piece of shit but he's still got all of Kevin's cock and balls in his mouth, knowing that he fucking stiffed you for over six grand. But that's yeah. okay, right? Because it is what it is, right? Yeah. I mean, I yeah. find that uh, pretty fucking... I mean, do I scream all the time that Kevin should play pay Bob? Have I ever wavered on that? Kevin should pay Bob if, if Kevin owes Bob money. Kevin should pay Bob. So they're turning on me now. He's no different than Butch Bradley. He's no different. So. I mean, I've never, I've never not said that Kevin shouldn't pay. Should, Kevin should pay Bob a hundred percent on this network. Nobody uh, on my no. team here has bought viewers for this fucking. And if we are, we're doing a pretty shitty job. <laughs> it's not like you know uh, we don't have four thousand people. This isn't Rumble numbers. You can look at our total views. You can look at the interaction. You can look at the likes of our shows and there right. is no way that we're buying views yeah that's There's the no thing way. like he he's sitting there saying that like uh bob was doing this and shuli's doing this rob's so full of shit N neither one of you guys are doing that what i did independently was market replayables my show i did not go to anybody in in market uh what is BS marketing show, show, what is like marketing that. independently in marketing my show marketing so, I mean, how that's it putting we, posters in the subway what are you talking about to do with the fucking live views or anything hey, like that because mm -hmm. the live views would would do nothing for you what's up joe can we just i just want to follow up on the venmo because some so many people are bringing it up so uh, mm -hmm. it's proof it's proof positive that we and mr abels are buying views no it isn't chris venmoed somebody twice so no one obviously, right? no one has said that we're asking this is so defensive and attacking it's insane we we have proof of nothing we're asking what it was and you're saying marketing and we're going what's what's youtube marketing i don't even know what that is and they're like uh just look it up uh, yeah. hold on uh, hold on everybody shut the fuck up for a second other than watching his show and talking to him from time to time and going, hey, uh, can we meet up today and talk about the shop? Can we meet up today and talk about the shop? And then never hearing from him? I don't have a relationship with the guy. I got no problem with him. All I've done is no, is compliment the guy about how great he is uh, doing his show. I think he's brilliant. 
But it's like, I mean, you, you're going to sit here. I want to make this clear. I've never dodged a Shuli call. Shuli called me last week and said, can we talk about the shop? And I said, yeah, tomorrow after the BS show. He never called me. I didn't get a call. I'm not going to call you. I don't know what you want to talk about. You can call me anytime. I've never dodged a call. So the, that is a patent lie. He never calls me back. He never, like, that's never happened. Not once. Not once have I ever dodged a call of yours. We made an appointment and you never called. That That's a difference. Joe has told me he was going to email me about the shop four or five times. I've never gotten the email. And I'm the one dodging? Okay. I mean, this is insane. This has nothing to do with anything either. You enjoy it. And these people can't enjoy anything. So they can't wrap their mind around people enjoying something. Tough shit. It is what it is. The views are real. The super chats are real. If it hurts you to deal with it. It then- doesn't hurt us. We, we just asked. Thank you for clarifying. He said they've never bought views. They're all real. That's all. I, you know, they come on and go, Melton's saying that it's proof positive we're buying views because of the Venmos. And it's like, no, nope, no, nope, you're being defensive. You're projecting. Nobody said that. Eyes views. Yeah, I, yeah, Steven Springer. I mean, he's also but based on nothing. Yeah, they're saying that well, no. because Rob Saul no. said it yesterday. That's why it's- no. we're asking questions, Joe. Nobody's saying you did anything. I don't know. I don't. I don't know how all this stuff works. I really don't. Being laundered into buying views. <laughs> <Mother Yes. fucker laughs> I'll be in Vegas in October. We managed to buy half of you with this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is this is a big <laughs> turnoff. This is gross to me. This is gross. I'll call you on the hotline when you're on the air so we can talk. Uh, I found out every. He's such a be- that's such a fucking lie, Shuli, and you know it. I'm sorry. That is a patent lie that I'm dodging your calls and you can't get a hold of me. Fuck you, dog. Fuck you, you liar. You liar. It's it's a lie, liar. Like that is a lie. <laughs> He's trying to make me look bad now. Like that's insane. I'm asking questions and you love it when I do it to Kevin, but I just ask questions and now you're saying I said we have proof. And you're saying I don't answer your calls. Okay. Okay. I'm so desperate. Of course he's desperate. Right. Of course he's desperate. That's why he's lashing out. This is typically what he does. When he gets desperate, he lashes out. This is nuts. Me and Bob are the last two this is that, nuts. Um, I had, had no idea he was even anything. mad. I mean, he hit me up. Saying- you guys are all idiots. You sound like Stevie Luke. Wow. See, this is why you don't get in bed. I'm not in bed. They didn't get me. They didn't get me. They're making an ass of themselves, not me. Again, uh, uh, do you think I don't have every text? Text and see it seven different <laughs> ways. But I'm like, yeah, but I'm I'm not a talkative guy on text. I'd rather, you know what I mean? If you call me, I'll talk. But a text is like, yeah, yeah, good luck, whatever. Uh, Melton he- didn't take much to court over money, but I know, I know. It was a sort okay. of, uh, yeah, okay, so now we're going to split cunt hairs. But did Butch okay. owe him $1,200? Did Melton wow. start up an entire website? with text conversations all about how he owes him $1,200. Get the fuck out of here. Stop making <laughs> excuses for people who don't fucking pay. That's the bottom yeah. line. So now Shuli is accusing me of making excuses for Kevin not paying Bob. Again, I'll defy, I'll, I'll say, any, I'll say it, $1,000 to anybody who can find a clip of me saying, fuck Bob, Bob shouldn't get the money, Kevin shouldn't pay Bob. Anyone who watches this show knows I've never not said Bob should be paid. Ever. I'm 100% on Bob's side with that. Wow. Yeah, this is full turn. You guys are right. Because I knew he wasn't in people's like eyes of, of getting something. You know what I mean? I'm like, you have to step it up. Here, here's, here's a fun thing, right? Wow. Zenhauser man. joined wow. us on BS not too long ago. Did Zenhauser join us because he texted us and called us and asked us to be a part of the show? No. Not once. Not I, once. I, I, no. I called he's, and text, asked him not to be part of the show. <laughs> he's here because when he's on the show, he delivers. When when he's with us, he works with us. He gets it. So Shuli has lied about me two times this morning. He said that I make excuses for Kevin not paying Bob and then made fun of me for going after my money with Butch. And he said that... I've been going around saying that I have proof that like Joe came on and said, Melton saying he has proof. Cause it's like, wow, wow. I, I, I gotta, I gotta, 
just point this out to people too. You're not all smarter than me. You sound dumb. This kind of stuff, LL, is is so insanely retarded. If you think I don't have my eyes and ears open and no shit that I don't say out loud, you're fucking dumb. I, this is a dumb. I, I, look, and I like you, LL. You're you're a good guy. You support the show. I appreciate it. This mentality is so insane. Watching Melton slowly find out why so many hate Julie is great. I don't think you're in bed with Julie. You just didn't know. Now you do. You're dumb. You're dumb. My eyes and ears are open. I see and hear everything. Whether I say it or not, I don't need to give you my opinion constantly. Julie's never fucked me over. Julie's never come out and said anything about me. Today he's lied three times about me. Three times. Today he's lied three times. So now I'll say, Julie's lying. Shuli's lying. You're you're all dumb if you think I'm. Wow, watching Melton slowly wake up to it. You're all idiots. You're all idiots. I'm so far. I have so much more knowledge and information than you guys know. Get the fuck out of here with that. Get out of here with that. He would literally call me. Hey, hey, I see you're going to be on ski mask today. Um, don't talk shit about me, okay? Don't say my name. Don't even tell him anything about me, okay? And I'm like, I can say whatever I want. Yeah, but you always trash me. And I'm like, I don't even talk about you. They'll ne they're not addressing the main accusations. Rob Saul said Bob Levy sent you a guy to get you views. Rob Saul said this guy said he buys views for the Shuley Network. Did Bob Levy send him this guy? Chris Abels, what is YouTube marketing? What kind of stuff do they do for you, and what are the results? Does it increase subscribers, views, live views, comments, likes? Yeah, I paid a guy for YouTube marketing. Look it up. Just like you market anything. It's like... Okay, and, and again, I'm done. I don't know enough about this stuff. Is there a legitimate YouTube marketing? I, I guess. <laughs> well, it's all the infos in the description <laughs> down below. So yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know. My chats are now sponsored by. <laughs> this is fake. Super See, chats, this baby. is what they all do. They're like, "Look, I'm a fake super chatter." It's like no one thinks that. You straw man motherfuckers. No one said all the viewers are fake. None of the super chats are real. Oh, nice. <laughs> You're now. Uh, uh, somebody um, said that, like, he was trying to do this so he can get a job with Cap. Uh, this is so fucked. Once you're out, this is so you fucked. have nothing else. Like, Surely that's three fucking lies about me today, and you've got to fucking make it right. You've got to say this thing where you said, I don't return your calls. I dodge you. Right, and when he wanted to bring his show to the uh, Shuley Network. Joe comes on, they're saying that it's proof definitive that we buy views because Melton has YouTube receipts or because Melton's showed a Venmo receipt. It's like, what? I mean, we can play it back. I don't think I've ever said we have proof of anything. I'm saying we don't know. We're asking questions. I've been screaming that all morning. He was part of uh, the sports head show. She says, why did no one offer the sports heads to buy views? That <laughs> show is still beyond. <laughs> Yeah, it's Stormy. I mean, it, it, come on. It's, it's uh, you know, I don't know. And and the best part about it, the <laughs> I didn't know the guy's name was Stephen. Stephen what? Springer? Springer. <laughs> it's an Indian guy named Stephen Springer. He's off of Nathan. Oh, Walmart. that's great. Uh, See, Bob's laughing like he doesn't know that guy. But this is a very, very good question. I don't know why Melton's upset. I don't I'm know. Not. I don't know. I don't understand why he would be so upset at this point. But if he has an issue, he's more than welcome to come on. Call. No, he's saying that. No, he's saying that he's getting pissed on so bad on us. We're by us. On him. By us? Are you kidding me? What are you talking about? Yeah, I'm stop complimenting him. Obviously, that's yeah. All I'm saying, I'm saying the guy's fucking great at what he does, and we're shitting on him. Yeah, I'm sure he's waiting for the link. He's got it. This. Yeah, exactly. I know this bit. He doesn't go on. He doesn't want the links. He's doing his his shit. It's all good. We sent him the link. He wants to come he on. Did? He comes on. If he doesn't, go spam his chat about not coming. <laughs> I usually want to get him on. I don't want to be one of six squares. I'm. There's three questions to answer, and you don't answer them. Like, oh, I'm not going on a show where you just lied about me three times. Fuck you, dog. I'll make a call. <laughs> you just lied about me. You're trying to discredit me now. 
I, I motherfucker, you did the same thing to me. You just did to Rob Saw. Melton doesn't answer calls. He ignores me. Okay. Did we call? You called me last Tuesday, and we talked, and I said, yeah, I'm free Wednesday after the BS show. Hit me up. You never called. I'm dodging? I, 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 your boy said he was going to email me for weeks now about the store since before you guys got copyright struck. I, and then he doesn't. So I'm dodging an email that doesn't exist and a call that never came. No thanks. <laughs> Son, and they played the original folk <laughs> music and he walked up. No, I felt party. it. I told you guys, like, they stopped talking to me like two weeks ago. Shuli and uh Joe. Joe used to text me every day. Right when I right when I like what wasn't letting them uh use the they wanted to use the voice chat system, which isn't ready. They so they want to use mine. They want to use the beta that I'm running that isn't ready, that's shitty. And the minute I said, no, you guys can't use that again, you got to wait for the official production version to come out, they cut me off. That's when I stopped hearing from them all the time. And then Shuli called me last week because he wanted to talk about the store, and I said, yeah, let's do it Wednesday after BS, and he never called. I'm not going to call you. What, when the BS show calls are in, should I call you immediately? or? <laughs> so maybe Rob's upset. It's my day off. You can call me anytime on a Wednesday. I get why he's so angry. His yeah. biggest claim to fame is a story about him jerking off his dog. And, you know, I get it. You'd, you'd probably want to come up with some shit to kind of push that story aside. But, <laughs> you know, Melton representing Bob to recover 6,500 from KB. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think it's an open shut case if Melton's on it. Hello, Kimosabi Springer. Oh, wait. <laughs> 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 Uh, always a pleasure to see you chris skull oh, thank you peter sorry i'm late i'm You're telling checking. you the damning piece of evidence that rob saw's i don't know maybe too thick to produce you have to show bob levy telling you go here this guy i'm sending you is to buy views or shut the fuck up you know what i mean if you can't if you can't show any evidence of that or, or the screenshots of the conversations on Facebook Messenger, like how many views do I get for this? You know, you got to show that. You got to show that fucking information or it makes no sense. Hello. Hey, it's Goro. Yep. This fucking guy is infuriating, Julie. And I feel like you're really nice to him. If this was, if this was Chad, for example, it would be a got him. If you, if you have nobody or sit down Zumok on that receipt, uh, you'd be like, ah, ha, ha, look at fucking Chad buying this shit. You're being, That's you're giving point. him so much. Yeah, well, you're being so fucking well, good to this guy. Now, look, dude, we don't have proof. We don't know what it is. So, but but they are also evading the, the real questions, 100%. And that and that's proof enough. It's all like you can't even talk. Like, Shuli's a smart guy. He's he's very cool. He's very rational when he knows he's in the right, but he's in the wrong. He has nothing I'm, to say for himself, so it's a one hundred percent deflect. You're I'm, absolutely spot on. The minute the minute Joe piped in and, and lied and said Melton was saying it's proof positive that we're buying views because because of this Venmo, it's like the minute you said that you're lying about me, and then surely going Melton just dodges me all the time. He doesn't even talk to me. It's like. You've lied now. So now I know you're trying to assault my my character. So now I know something's up. Now I know something's up. And, and of all people, you like in the past, you have been so good to Shuli. While, you know, Kevin can, I mean, everyone can get some. Kevin can get some. Chad can get some. But I, I don't even understand it. I'm like, why are you so good to well, Shuli? Well, there's a million things to actually make fun of me about. But me saying I don't return your calls and saying that I said it was proof positive, it's like, these are fundamentally provably wrong things. You can rewind this show later and uh, and see that I never said that. That's insane. Oh, it's just fucking infuriating. I, I got to hit up this drive through though. I'll, I'll check you later, buddy. All right, later. Just like Rob. Oh, you just cuddle up with if somebody comes near you, little sissies. Good morning, everybody. Melton busted you. <laughs> Use this for some views, really? Yeah. The 279? That guy in India won't right. even pick up the phone for that much. Yeah, Don't insult exactly. that. Yeah, Bob they is are, the master. Bob there is the are, mastermind. Are, uh, by the way, I didn't even see it. Deadpool gifted 20 memberships, which I've told you not to fucking do here. Get out of here with that shit.
<laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Deadpool. I do appreciate it. And uh, five from Pulper80 as well. 25 gifted memberships out of the gate. Did we get anybody good? Because uh, I completely missed when they happened. Did we get anybody good from those? Um, this is fucked and disappointing. I mean, look, it's just, it's more obfuscation because I never said we had them dead to rights. I'm asking questions. And I've certainly never dodged Shuli and don't keep appointments with Shuli. That's fucked to say. That's fucked. I was sitting there for two hours waiting for your call, you know? If you don't call me, I'm not going to reach out. I have other shit to do. You think I care? Uh, I didn't think that you were sitting there waiting for me. You said you needed to talk, so call me. You know? I don't sit and take it personally. I just figure, oh, Shuli got busy. We'll talk later. Because, by the way, producer Joe's been telling me he had updates for the store for, for a month and hasn't emailed me. So, you know, life gets in the way. I just assume. But to put that on me now and say, like, Melton just fucks off and doesn't take our. It's like, fuck. Typical Rob shit, man. And I was like, whatever. Uh, you nailed it, though, Shuli. Rob is miserable, hates seeing people happy. He hates seeing the show where people I mean, are did Bob send him this guy for marketing or not? No one's asking these questions and no one's answering these questions. Did Bob send you a guy for views or not? Is Chris Abel's, what did Chris Abel's pay for? What is marketing? What was the Levy land payment back in January? Who did that come from? Who's in control of that account? You know, again, no, you guys would just rather argue about who jerks their dick off. <laughs> okay. Here's uh, a fair question. Let's go around the horn. All right. Anthony, I know, is a no because he had to get a sandwich. So he did not pay for <laughs> you. But no, Anthony, let's start with Anthony. We'll go around. Have Anthony at any point during the 10 year of men are talking. Did you buy views? Why do you have to frame it during this period for this show? Did you buy views? Have you ever bought YouTube views ever for any show for any reason ever? It's time. I am not for this uh fuck it I, question uh if i can come back at this a later should have been the first 10 that. seconds of the show it is not to my knowledge that i bought any uh uh to my knowledge see what i mean it's like well this is all fucking games i can't Paul leone is the head of a uh family uh cosa nostra if you will uh you know Michael I, got this. Michael bob is nervous this. they're saying and, uh, all right uh, Mr. Abels, have you at any point through your Indian contact, Stephen Stephen Springer <laughs> in India, the world famous Indian Stephen Springer, have you at any point bought views? Answer honestly, you are under oath. Uh, yeah, I believe it would probably qualify as a yes because uh, I notice every night after Replayables is live, I am fucking paying for it for two days, and that is for the viewers. So, absolutely, my answer is yes. <laughs> uh, See, everything is a skirt around answer. Neither one of them answered answered seriously. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, I don't believe I have. I guess I. I drink a lot, so I guess I did pay for it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Next person. Okay. Mr. Morse, I apologize to have to make you speak for the first time today. <laughs> <laughs> they're clowning you, Tubby? I mean, they're not clowning me. I don't care. I don't care whether they bought it. That's the thing. Who cares? It's not a big deal. You define purchase. Again, this becomes super cringe if it ever comes out that they did. Do you know what I mean? The more they do this... And then it if it comes out that they did, it's like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God>. uh, <laughs> oh, don't you worry. We'll get to Mr. Levy. Don't you worry. <laughs> 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 uh, Mr. Morse, your answer, please. Oh, I did. I swear to God. <laughs> All right. I believe him. Sucker. Is it true that you Venmoed Perry last night? Not, not the uh, entertainer, the dog. Are you, are you sending your dog money? Well, I did. Uh, well, I, you know, I don't have them. I, my, I tell my wife. Uh -huh. uh, we, uh, uh, hey, we uh -huh. are going to. Uh, he did a nice thing for her birthday, and uh, I said, here, I said, write this. Here's for, here's for something. Go have dinner tomorrow night or something like that. 
You know what I mean? Uh, Please yeah, answer yeah. the question, Senator Levy. Uh, yes, I sent Perry money <laughs> last night so he can go and have dinner today, but I had to have her do it since I don't have a Venmo. And I do not have a pull. And I oh. do not have a second car. Breaking and I news. do not have something huge happening in November. <laughs> Senator, you're giving away a lot more than I asked. I don't know what's going on. It's like a Terrible. lasso Terrible, of truth just got put around him at some point. Uh, okay, so that was an. I'll take it as a no. Have you at any point send sent money to India to Jerry Springer's love child, India love child? <laughs> that bird uh, is. You know what I mean? When the questions are phrased. This Indian thing is like, okay, it was funny a couple of times. We all know the guy's not Indian and he lives in Chicago or whatever. It's like, did you ever send money to an Indian love child of Jerry Springer? Uh, I don't know. It's like, what are we doing? This could be five minutes. Just come out and go, everything Rob Saul, Saul said was bullshit. We disavow it. Show the proof. Show the proof. We didn't do it. We've never bought views. Bob didn't buy views. I didn't buy views. We don't buy views. We've never bought views for this program ever in any way period end of story this is how i say things this is how i say things you know melton's got ppp loan. no i don't i don't have any ppp loans i never took out a ppp loan those are those are go pay paycheck protection plan i don't have a company i don't pay people paychecks i didn't i've never taken a ppp loan ever i've never gotten uh, a, a loan from the government i've never taken out like Definitive. Never. Ever. It's false. Those are lies. Lance made up a lie. <laughs> like, end of story. We don't need to do bits about it or ask if I took it from India or, you know what I mean? Why does Melton say everything twice? I don't know. I don't know. But I like it. Listen, you know how hard it is to broadcast by yourself? It's not easy. I, hate I can't do this. I don't care it. either way. I don't care. Uh, I don't so care if they hate me or like me. That's not it. Answer the three relevant questions. Fuck. <laughs> they will do an hour and never talk about the real. Okay, then what are those? What is marketing? How did what did Bob ever put him in touch with this contact? Does Bob know who this guy is? Where did Bob Bob's never message this guy ever? Midget, then I. <laughs> Take nah, we won't ask that stuff. Let's do some India sketches. Uh, Chris, where where my change from the handy, says Dave Daffler, $2. I'll, I'll get your change, Dave. I, I owe for a couple of viewers. Chris Abel's made me get four DWIs. That was replayables. Mike paid me to be here and talk about how attractive he is. See how much better this is than uh, watching uh, Stuttering John drool, though? See what I mean? If this wasn't about me, I'd be watching it going like, this is fucking great. This is great. You guys are showing your true colors today. Are you guilty of something, Shuli? <laughs> what is this? All squares? They did weird characters? Real for 50 knock. <laughs> you own, <laughs> think you own the place because you dropped 50 knock? <laughs> Coming around here with your knocks. Viewers. That's seven viewers in India. Strangely. Mr. Happy Levy, birthday, is it true? Dave Daffler's lovely bird. Is it Daffler's birthday? Oh. Yeah, happy yeah. birthday, Dave. Uh, oh, happy, happy birthday, birthday Dave. Everybody's got a birthday today. Happy yeah. birthday. Oh, here you go. Phil Elmore. I, I mean, if somebody offered this Steven Springer guy a thousand bucks, you don't think he would just turn over his list and everything he's done for people? <laughs> like, yeah, he seems to do this for everybody. I'll talk to this Byron Kennedy guy. I'll find out. That's a Vegas guy, man. Like, Something's up. Marketing. Like, just can anyone ask that question? What's YouTube marketing? It's all talk. Thanks for the payment for this chat. I don't think Melton's scared. I just think, you know, he just wants to do his thing. I'm asking uh, questions. Can't I've been lied about three believe. times on your show already. You fucker. You lied about you lied about me knowingly. You know I've never dodged one of your calls. Liar. Liar. You're lying. Let me be definitive about it. Shuli's lying about me. And Joe. Liars. I don't know why. I don't know why. They're lying. <laughs> Show one missed call in your fucking phone from me. Show the log. 
Show the log. Marion, you got it. Coming right up. Ha ha, history. Show one text message that wasn't responded to. Liar! <laughs> Show one email that's gone unresponded. Julie, Julie haters love loose asshole and huge <laughs> teen s. Oh, you and got it. me. You Julie's, buy, oh. Julie's and, buying lies. You know what people have to do? They have to space out their accusations. Like either we, you buy your super chats. Okay, let that rest for a few months, and then mm. you go after you know buying views. I mean, you can't just. It just well, looks like at this point you're just you're trying to like you're grasping at straws at some point, right? Uh, hello. Hey now, um, so the, so far I sent you an email. So YouTube marketing uh, is basically what it what it what it kind of sounds like. It's scheming and not good. Uh, I mean, is there, there there's marketing. legitimate YouTube marketing? You said what would that be? I don't I don't even know. Well, if, he, if unless he's paying for his at his his replayable thumbnail to be put on YouTube um, on websites. That would be the only marketing he'd get. But if there's uh, just the email I sent you, uh, YouTube marketing, uh, in a sense, would be uh, buying viewers, buying subs, buying live viewers. You can do it all. So Yeah, I but mean, it, yeah. It's funny which is all against that terms term. of service. Just, is there any YouTube the email, marketing? That term. Is, is there any YouTube marketing that is not against terms of service? Um, I guess it's like um, buying know, ads, I mean, like buying can, ads, I guess. You can buy ads. But if you bought ads, you would have proof those ads would be up somewhere or you'd have. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You would, we would see replayable thumbnails on, I don't know, Pornhub or something. I don't, I don't get where he would be doing this. Um. All right. Thank you. I appreciate right. it. No problem. I think that was uh, we Ian Hall. make money here. So how are we paying for all this? How are we faking super chats? See, I've never said you don't make money. I never say you fake super chats. And I'm not even saying you buy views. You told me you didn't. You, you both told me earnestly you don't. So I believed that. And, like, I didn't even know if Rob Saul was telling the truth until today. I, again, everything could be a work. I, I still don't know. I don't know. I've never said we have proof. We don't. We don't. We're asking questions, and I've been called a liar three times, or I've been uh, lied about three times today. So that's odd to me. That the the day I ask what's going on, I get attacked. Okay, again, you know, no proof of anything. I'm just going. Okay, I do. I'll take note. It'll go in my notebook about what what I know about Shuli and Joe. Uh, and I and I told uh Libby told me that oh don't worry you'll make the money back up on tour that shit that, never happened that conversation that never, never happened that conversation is bullshit he's because i asked him i go people. when did that happen he goes i think you were in the bathroom i was like okay yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. i was checking yeah, for the gun kevin yeah behind the toilet. <laughs> it's unbelievable like uh, why does he care what rob you know what i mean uh, it's like Right. That conversation he's, he's got nothing. Happened. He's got nothing. That's why. That's why. Yeah. When you have. When you have nothing. Uh, well, can everything. someone just answer the question? What is legitimate YouTube marketing that is not against terms of service? What What service was performed specifically for fifty dollars that you were paying for on a regular basis? Not views. Not likes. Not not subscribers. Okay. What? Where did you buy banner ads? Where did you, you, what marketing, what newsletter service? What anybody? No, I'm an asshole. I don't, I don't reach out about the store. <laughs> Nothing. The entertainment world hasn't seen a shakeup like this since the great public access TV wars. <laughs> uh, Love you guys. Gotta go. Curry break. Yeah. Thank you. Who can forget this? Uh, <laughs> Mr. Abel's need better. <laughs> 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 Red Bar owned Melton so bad that he left comedy scene in the States and moved to Australia. P.S. Ask him about his bit called Bumble Me Tinders. All right. It's not a bit. It's an international sensation. BumbleMeTinders.com. Enjoy. Uh, oh, I'm sorry that I've made over a hundred grand off a show I created that I don't even have to travel to, to run. My bad. Ask Melton about his embarrassing dating horror stories comedy show that he runs at festivals around the world in two different languages. Sorry, three, French and Japanese now. Ah, how embarrassing for Melton. 
He created something that's making him a living. Ah! <laughs> that they can only drink and stuff like that. That's not the case. Uh, we love the people in the chat, even the ones that we pay for. And uh, mm -hmm. we want them to come on the show uh, and, and just have a good time. That's what the show's about. It's about a good time. The minute, the minute I ask a question, ask Melton about this, ask Melton about that. How many cars do you have? It's like, holy shit. Whatever. And that's it. And if you want to have a good time. This is like steel toe now. I mean, this is this this has caught me like a left hook today. I I, I have a hundred percent been lied about. Um I mean, we just we're just gonna keep doing us. And and unfortunately the show or it's not unfortunate, the show And then Tiff will probably never talk to me again after this. Tiff's like Tiff was like a uh, a uh, a uh, good fan of this show, but I know she's a bigger fan of of uh Shuli's show. So now I mean, this is going to make a bunch of Shuli people think I'm a giant piece of shit. So this is really going to fracture my life. You want a job here? Tell us what you did. Yeah. It's all me. It's oh, all yeah. me. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's 100%. all me. So no one has asked Bob, did you put did or did you not put uh Rob Saul in touch with this guy? What were these payments about? Who is Levy land on that Venmo? And what was that payment for? You know what I mean? No, 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 no. Let's make some jokes about India and say Melton doesn't call us back about the store. I, I, again, we have no proof of anything. We, we just have some questions. There's some Venmo transactions and Rob Saul has levied allegations. And, and all we've done today is talk about how Rob Saul is jealous and Melton doesn't return calls. And, and skirt around answering the other questions. It's like, it looks suspicious, dude. So Melton can shut up. That what? What? Uh, Chris, yeah. what is the marketing that was done? That's Georgia, anybody, anybody can look this up. When, you, when you're when you doing a can YouTube you? show or when you're starting a show on YouTube, you can look at how to market your show. How? There's companies out there that you can pay. And what do they do? This guy is an individual that is a tech guy you pay them to like specifically target people that would like your show like your demographic how because they're how do they do that your show uh they turn around the payoff for you is is they will subscribe to your show um and then you get you get paid from like google ads and stuff like that the payoff isn't immediately but it's called marketing i mean it's just like any other business out there if if I was trying to sell you uh, the payoffs not immediate, but you have to do it every six days. What? I'm gonna try to put that. He up. can't tell me one thing. What is it? There are ways you can look it up. There are ways. It's like name one. What what's what's one thing? Went to like uh, boosting something on Facebook. Like when yeah, you exactly. So, yes. No, yes. no, 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 so no. Like it's not. You pay Facebook for Facebook to boost a post to people. This is not paying YouTube for YouTube to promote your video. That's not what this is. No, 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 no. It's not like that. Stop. Area to sell the tickets to the shows. It's not like that. Oh, marketing. I mean, Kevin and those guys don't understand it. They just think if they should, you know. I do. Oh, I Kevin do. Brennan, I do. I have an MBA. I have an MBA. I've done digital marketing for a long time. For a long time. It's not like buying Facebook boosting. It isn't putting some work into it and putting putting my own money i mean that's the thing people are so mad that i'm putting my own fucking money into my show wow sorry no if, if i was no you're making another false equivalency you're making another lie wow people are so mad that i'm promoting my show yeah yeah we're all livid that you're promoting he's promoting his show <sighs> point here no it's one's mad that you're buying views i want to make that clear no one even cares. Uh, I, we don't care. <laughs> Whether it's YouTube or Facebook or Instagram ads, you can micro target and create custom audiences and stuff. So nope. Nope. YouTube does not have that. Nope. And load it into Facebook. Facebook, if people use those those email addresses for their Facebook account, Facebook will find them and create what they call a custom audience. So we can serve things directly to those people who are on your email list. The other thing you can do is take that list and use. Can you show us one of the Facebook ads you purchased? Then you know what I mean. All this was fifty bucks. Your email list, and we can target them as well. So again. We can find people who aren't on our email list, but are in similar demographic categories and serve them ads.
Yeah, I, I understood none of that. I mean, there's no there's no equivalent of a Facebook pixel, a Facebook tracking pixel for YouTube. There isn't. So I, again, I I don't know enough about it. Maybe maybe Joe knows more than me. Fair enough. Fair enough. This looks bad. <laughs> He's buying viewers when you stream every day. Hello. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, it seems dumb. Uh, rough trade. Rob Saul is <laughs> the haha -ha history of the Keebler L. Once you, because if you start uh, buying viewers, you can't ever stop. You can't really ever stop. I will say this: they do have 780 views this morning. It is less than normal. So I don't know exact number of view increases. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't watch his numbers like a hawk. You know, I, I got no issue yeah. with what's going on over there. I'm I'm busy worrying about. And again, other people can do it to you. People are saying Vince, the lawyer, did that 2,500 live viewer thing to them. You know, uh, I I don't know why that's definitively like this isn't happening. It's like, what if someone else is doing it to you? What if Kevin's buying viewers to make it look bad, and you you guys are screaming we don't have bought viewers? It's like. I don't know. Fatty Melt keeps buying me subscribers. I, I I don't know. I don't. I I fuck. It it this is it looks awful. This is so fucking knee jerk defensive. And when you guys start going after me, it's G like he doesn't call back about the store. Okay. About others and what they do with their money. Stuttering John being the perfect example. Like I said, when you got nothing, there's always something. This is how Chris Abels and TiffBot told me how to get the replacement batteries for my chat bot. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. Tony D. Oh, there's, there's yeah. Tiff. She is fake. She's a bot. Exactly. <laughs> Warning, Chris Abels pays in crypto. I, I, I've i heard that. Hmm. Thanks, Dave. Now they're going to be wondering Dave. who this crypto that's guy where, is. That's where Bob Levy lives in a crypto. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Define YouTube marketing and stop dodging Mountain. One, I will never stop dodging Mountain, mm -hmm. and I am ready to fight him in uh, Vegas or wherever. Mm -hmm. we're going, all right. <laughs> Come on, big boy. I will climb you, plant a flag <laughs> on they, top of your head. They all go like, you know how you can select demographics and people like this person and people who like this and stuff on Facebook. You can do that on YouTube. It's like, no, you can't. No, you can't. <laughs> Please show me the ad interface where I go build demographics in the back end of YouTube and pay, pay to boost posts. Please. Oh, wait, it doesn't exist doesn't exist you can buy adsense ads <laughs> Qualities. Yeah. no one's mentioned the word adsense no one has said that and to do any kind of advertising through google including getting paid for youtube ads you have to go through the adsense panel no one has even said the word adsense so like so yeah. so yeah technically that is true i guess and by the way when you buy adsense ads they go on google like they don't go on you can't buy an ad on youtube unless you're buying video ads and that no one is again no one's mentioned that no one has said that they're going no we can target people with email addresses who subscribe to the show on youtube and reach out to similar it's like what <laughs> oh you one company okay <laughs> show an ad then views payer yeah, show one of the ads that you've created to this marketing company commercial go to hootsuite uh uh one of those i mean they're they're all youtube companies so you want me to spell it for you? H O O T S U I T E. So look them up. They're one of the companies out there. There's plenty of uh, there's plenty. Hootsuite's of like a Twitter this and is a pretty Instagram. spicy juice spiracy going mm -hmm. on here. We're cooking up. Ooh, hey, listen, everybody's Joe, do a mail merge on that <laughs> list and send those. <laughs> 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 uh, All right, not. let's go see what let's go see what advertising's available at Hootsuite. Fair enough. By the way, why, why didn't you buy it through Hootsuite? Why did you message Steven Springer? Hey, do you have access to Hootsuite? I don't. <laughs> None of it makes sense. Hold on. You guys, there's companies who let you market on YouTube, like Hootsuite. Yeah, you didn't pay Hootsuite. Or did you? Do you have a receipt for Hootsuite? <laughs> I mean, Hootsuite is named after Twitter. Um, so here we go. This is Hootsuite. Save time, get real results on social media. What we do, publish and schedule 
This is so like companies can have multiple people on their Twitters and things like that. Monitor activity, advertise content, analyze results, services. Um, Ali AI writer, industry integrations. Look at this. Do you see YouTube here? Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok. YouTube, get more views and save time managing your video content. Okay, let's see. Get people to like and subscribe like never before with Hootsuite. Schedule your YouTube videos with all your other social networks. Okay, so that's not needed. Let's see how they get you viewers. Literally all these, all Hootsuite is, is a, is a publishing management. It lets you schedule when things go up. It lets you publish videos and content to multiple platforms at once. So you only have to create it one time. How, how are they getting you likes and subscribe? I don't know. I'll reach out to somebody at Hootsuite and ask them. I, I'm pretty sure they're only talking about like, hey, you'll be consistent and you'll get growth because you're being consistent. It's not like saying, we'll get you new subscribers. We'll get you new, you know. That's the other thing you guys got to understand is, you know, the money that we make on YouTube specifically is super chats and memberships. And you can't fake those two. You no. can't. So views, if somebody's buying views, it's pointless because it does nothing. It brings, it brings, you would have to buy a lot of views to equal out what you're paying for those to, to get money back. You know what I'm saying? Correct. We, we were just uh, looking at some statistics the other day. Joe was showing me about what is it called? The CPMs. I won't get into numbers, but yeah, it's the, the, the amount that advertisers pay per thousand views. Yeah. So there's an average, and then there's the number we're doing, and it's well above uh, above average. So shit's working over here. That's all. People are enjoying it. Just fucking go on with your life. Gives a fuck. Abel pays for extra AA steps. That I believe. <laughs> Except when he's on replayable. Rob yeah. was talking shit today with nine viewers. Ooh. Well, get used to mm. it. Get used to it. This. He might be up to 18 after we yeah. talked about him yeah. today. He but enjoys this, the bump. This, yeah. is, this is the last time, that's for sure. Chris, hook him up. Chris, hook him up with your guy. Oh, you know what, Anthony? <laughs> yeah, I'll send him the info after I get it. Oh, wait, you know what? He has me blocked on everything. Mm. So the, that's the, the the best part, I guess. He's been talking shit. Look at, like, look at what their people, look at the Kool-Aid their people are drinking. Like, Melton's off the deep end with these conspiracies. It's like, I have no conspiracy. I'm asking questions. Here's what I know. Here's what I fucking know. And and I'll wait for someone to prove me wrong. Chris Abel's just said it's like Hootsuite. They get you viewers and and subscribers. It's like no they don't. No they don't. They help you publish consistently across your all, all your platforms so that your brand has a cohesive uh presentation to the public, which in turn can lead people to find your other platforms through your posts. They don't guarantee you subscribers or followers or any of that shit. Again, did Bob put this guy in touch with Rob or not? Why can't we just get an answer to that? And again, if it's like, no, like there's, there's things like Hootsuite where you can do, it's like, why didn't you pay Hootsuite? Why'd you play Steven Springer? The cheapest Hootsuite thing was $99. Does Steven Springer have a coupon code? How does it work? I, I, I'm not I'm not retarded. So attack me more. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. No one's mad. I've always said things are going well over there. I've always said that. There, there are plenty of happy people at the Shuley Network watching the show, enjoying the show. I was one of them. You idiot. I've never said you're doing anything. We're asking questions. We're asking questions. And now I've been accused of saying we have definitive evidence because of this. It's like, okay, okay, lie about me more.
lie about me more. It's sad. I mean, this was not my thing I was going to do today. This is insane. Calling Shuli cheap and not paying anyone to now saying Shuli makes so much money he's buying you. <laughs> Can't win. This is all ancillary stuff. This is all this all has nothing to do with anything. No offense, Shuli, are faking or buying anything. They are doing a shitty job. Look at the numbers. Number two, even if they were, how am I affected as a purveyor of the semi funny? Again, no offense. None taken, Texas law dog. And very good points made. Yeah, I mean, right. no no one's saying you don't do a good show. No one's saying you don't have a successful network. No one's saying you don't make money. No one's saying you don't have real viewers. No one's saying you don't have real... No one is saying that. So stop fighting that fight. Look, we're all fake over here. No one said that. No one. So I guess keep fighting the fight that no one's having with you instead of the one that we want answers on. I guess keep dodging real questions and keep answering fake ones. Do you think we think Dave Dalifor is fake? Is that what you think we think? <laughs> buys his views from stuttering John's 7-Eleven wing guy. <laughs> it, it's painful to watch people argue with nothing. Uh, we still love you, Pat. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, Canoe thinks of Perry when she's in bed with Gino. Honestly, one of the shows you cover had reached out to me as well to see if I can help them with their numbers or if I knew how to boost them. Citizen M said that? Who? Who? Pulper, thanks for the super sticker. Waver, thanks for the super sticker. Did Deadpool give another 20 memberships or is that the old one? Either way, thank you, I guess. I don't know what's going on. I'm missing a lot today. Uh, addicted to Ubiquity, starting to think Shuli's not on the up and up. Cirrhosis. Hey, Patrick. Uh, and that's why your numbers haven't dropped. Calling you mad. Raytard the Untrainable. Can we get a Nannerpuss drop? Okay. You can call me Nannerpuss, Nannerpuss. And guess what? I love Nannerpuss. You can call me Nannerpuss, Nannerpuss. And guess what? <laughs> uh, sweaty try hard. Burn these fools, Pat. Slow burn these fools. Isaac A. Shuli will try to kiss your ass behind the scenes. I mean, uh, that probably sailed you don't get to go on and say i dodge you you made that up motherfucker what the fuck dude gregory b confront him on his show i'm not going on it i'm not gonna go be a sixth square on a show the fuck is wrong with you if you go over there like melton scared of steel toe and truly yep Drew, I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Single mother of five. You could go in there and call them out on their lies. Drunk on credit. It's not good. To, it's not good to be lied about, is it? Yeah, it's fun when you're doing it to me. It's, it's entertaining. You love it. And then somebody lies about you. You find out it's not fun at all. Uh, Morocco Mole. Why won't Melton just come on the show and hash it out? Look, dude, at a, at a point when it's when it's becoming um Look, out of nowhere, Joe came on and said, "Melt, I want to clear this up. Melton was showing Venmo receipts this morning and saying it's definitive proof that we're buying viewers." No, I didn't, Joe. No, I didn't. And then Shuley goes, "Oh, I don't ever talk to Melton. He dodges all my calls and stuff." It's like, "No, I don't." No, I don't. I told you when I was available and you didn't call. How does that translate into me dodging you? So there's not a genuine earnest argument happening here. So I'm not interested in going on their show and do let them just keep going like, yeah, we paid an Indian guy. No, no one said that. So I guess just keep, again, you're fighting ghosts. You're fighting phantom arguments. I, I'm not going to go sit in six squares and argue. We here at Two Can Sam Corp still love you, Melton. Sorry we had to go after you. We only did it because you were Team Shuley. We'll back off now. <laughs> Steel toe. I don't care. <laughs> Let me make it clear. Everyone's allowed to do anything. I don't give a shit. <laughs> please make videos about Please continue to do it. Because ultimately, it does get me views. Like, it, it really does. I, I So... <laughs> A doth of the cap, sir. You can continue.
It really doesn't, you know, it, believe me, it probably eats somebody like Aaron alive. I There are people on the internet talking shit about me all day, every day. I don't, you're, you're going to stop and you think that's going to boost my self-esteem? What about everyone else? What about everyone else who talks shit? Jeremy Bott. Look at Bob moving around his facial expressions. He's very uncomfortable. He knows something. Look, I don't know. This is That's all speculative bullshit. Is producer Joe the singer of Nanopus? The best shows are when Melton investigates. If they weren't being deceptive, why rush to respond to Rob Saul if he's talking shit and it's nothing but they're coming? No, I, I, they should have. They should have squashed this immediately today. They needed to. They needed to. Look, they say they don't do it. They say they don't do it. So I don't know what to believe. I don't know what to I I I highly doubt Rob Saul is completely talking out his ass and making shit up. But I also like I, I have no reason to to doubt Shuley. He's never lied to me. Today was the first uh the first time I've ever seen Shuley like flat out. That was a that was a a hundred percent lie, and you know it was a lie, Shuley. Sorry. You know I've never dodged your call or your text. It's insane to say that. It's insane to say that. I'm on top of stuff. I I, I handle customer service for your store. I don't, you know what I mean? I'm I'm available. People can can reach me. I'm too available. I'm too reachable. You know, I'm thinking about setting up an I reply. Um uh, it's it's crazy. That both those came out of nowhere today and they they made the hair on the back of my neck stand up on the back of my chins. It it's very weird to come out of nowhere and just start lying about me like that. But okay. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure he'll be complaining about it tomorrow. Um and then and then it'll be those guys did nothing but talk shit about me yesterday. Uh <laughs> yeah. even though the day before he did nothing but talk shit about us. But I mean And you're lucky that. again, like you're lucky it's Rob Saul, who's an unorganized boob with no proof and no receipts. And may, may, look, maybe there are none. I don't know. But but I know this. A, a month ago, producer Joe had texted me before the show started and said, Rob's full of shit. We'll squash it today on the show. I'll show you. No, 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 no. Now I'm getting attacked. Okay. Okay. I guess you didn't buy views because Melton won't call you back about the store. Producer Joe, have you or have you not told me that you were going to be emailing me stuff that needed to go in the store for over a month? Yes or no? And and it's never come. It's not like you sent me an email and I ignored it. It's not like you told me to do anything in your store and I ignored it ever. Surely, have you ever called me? And I'd be like, no, nah, I'm not talking. Have I ever not answered your call or returned your call or returned a message to any of you? No, no. So why go and say that? Because I guess it makes me look like an idiot, even though I'm not even accusing you of anything. I'm not accusing you of shit. I don't know. I'm asking. Because this basically looks like him with the tan right there. <laughs> yes, I got Bob's tan. I got Bob's tan. Yeah. Of course, Bob's the one who dies years later. Gets this out. sucks because this this will just create this will create a big division between Shuli uh, fans and me. And you know I can't do anything about it. Uh, 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 it is what it is. I I don't want people around here distorting who who believe in distorted reality. I've never said we had definitive proof of anything. So if you're one of those people, if you're one of those people who think that, wow, Melton said he had definitive proof. It's like, all right, go away, idiots. Great comic was uh, was there. And so good to see Ugh, uh, New it's York. so disgusting. It really is. It's gross. And by the way, I'd, I'm not one of these guys who will sit here and go like, and Rustic Cuts was shit. No. Shuley's always been great to me. Joe's always been nice to me. Never thought we had a problem until today. So be it. Rustic cuts, they're delicious. I still have a few of them left. I enjoyed them. And I will continue to enjoy them. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's good meat, man. I can't lie. They're good. It's good food. I, 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 this, is, this is fascinating to me. This is an insane turn of events. Yesterday, that got you all crazy, like... 
she got this. And then Shuli doing this thing like I I haven't even watched it. What did Rob Saul say? I don't even know. It's like what? <laughs> I guess. Imagine somebody messaging me like Rob Saul is accusing you of a bunch of shit, and me being like, I don't have the time. Who cares? <laughs> she came down here with it on. I mean, the only person uh, I I think of like that is like Chow. It's like, oh, it's Chow saying I did something again. <laughs> Walk off instantly. So we finally we finally get an opportunity yesterday uh, for some alone time, and I'm revved the fuck up. And I get in there, and we're you know wrestling around, and sure enough, the bell think? rang, and I should have started the match back then. <laughs> no, uh, I I I cut her with my toenail. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. What's wrong what do you, with you? What do you think? You're in a gang? All right. I guess they're done. I guess we're done. I don't know. Um, all right. <sighs> Him bringing up Hootsuite. Look, I, I, I used Hootsuite for years. It's been, it's been a long time since I used it. But when he said that about Hootsuite, I, um, I started laughing because, look, again, here are the prices for Hootsuite. The cheapest one is, and, and they always do this too, you know, it, this is annual. These are billed annually. So if you go to, on a monthly, it's more than 99, I'm sure. I'm sure. So this idea that it's like, no, it's like Hootsuite. Hootsuite is like, let me explain. Hootsuite is for platforms and giant companies to allow their employee, like, Target runs a Twitter. Wendy's runs a Twitter. And instead of giving every employee that's in charge of your social media on different shifts your Twitter username and password, you have one corporate Twitter username and password that you then link to Hootsuite with the API. And then you give your, your employees logins to Hootsuite. And that enables them to tweet and put out uh, content on every platform, not just Twitter. They get to create a, an image or a video or an ad or a promotion, and it blasts it out to Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and, and you know, not YouTube. <laughs> so this idea that we can create target groups and demographics, and it's it's just like, that's not exactly true for for something like youtube it just is different it is it is the same things that are, that are available to you on on instagram and facebook are not available on youtube hello hey pat what's going on i don't know um <laughs> you know the the one thing that strikes me and, and i'm i'm in the discord so i kind of saw how feverishly you were working to try to get a payment system in place for them when they were shut down uh, when the Shuli network was shut down for like three, uh, going to be shut down for, we didn't know how long. It turned out to be a couple of days. But you were, you took it upon yourself to really try to make sure that they were able to get paid if they were down for an extended amount of time. Yeah, and I so said for that, this, that, that night after they used my thing one time, I sent Shuli $1,000 the next day. He got paid yeah. immediately for all that. So that's my that's my point. Like for them to kind of turn around and these little and I'm going to use a woke term, but microaggressions and lies and all this bullshit towards you now makes it's it's uh, really just uh, disheartening, you know. Uh, so that's it. All right. Bye. Yeah, I, I don't get it. I really don't. Um, you know, I take a lot of shit for sticking up for them. I take a lot of shit for saying I think Julie and Bob are funny and I enjoy the BS show and stuff what what is his man i don't you know this doesn't mean i don't think think the bs show is funny it doesn't mean i probably won't watch the bs show anymore I, I will i will they don't have to like me they can go lie about me they don't need to be in business with me they don't need to you know if i if i'm so unresponsive about the store then you know i don't i don't blame you i'd take it somewhere else I'll happily transfer the domain to anybody you want to hand it over to so they can run it. You know, I didn't, I didn't know I was letting you down so much, man. I didn't know I was, man, fuck. I really fucked up. I really fucked up. I shouldn't have dodged all those calls, Julie. 
And, and how does this help? Again, I'm not even accusing you of anything. I'm not accusing you of anything. Do you think if I, if, if everything started leaning the other way to where you did that, by the way, there is no proof. There's no proof of anything. We don't know anything. I know this. Chris Abels is talking out his asshole. You shouldn't let it, You shouldn't have brought Abels on to talk because Abels doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. You can Google it. What YouTube marketing is. That's what we bought. Yeah, what? And you think Joe coming on and talking about, no, we, we take the mailing list and the emails. It's like Hootsuite. It's like Hootsuite's $99. Why are you paying Steven Springer 50 every month? Those are the questions we're asking. Hello. What's up, Patrick? It's your buddy Greg here, man. Hi, Greg. Tough day today, huh? I mean, no, it's been great. Well, I just want to ask you a question, though, and I'm not trying to lead you with this necessarily, but does sort of producer Joe kind of come off as a little bit, well, disingenuous, but also very quick to just pick a side on this. You notice when Chris was explaining, you know, about this site and stuff, he overtook him, probably just read something. And then now is the expert on it. Want to get your thoughts on that? Well, I think, look, I think Joe's well-intentioned. I like Joe. I don't have a problem with Joe. I think Joe's funny again. Like today's the first indication I have that, Look, Joe hasn't talked to me in weeks. I felt some. I felt a pullback, and and I get it. I think it's like when we made fun of replayables a few weeks ago, or again when I when I told him like no, they couldn't use my AI chat thing every day or whatever. It's like it's not even about. It, it's like a dude, it's not ready, and B, I use it, and it's one. I don't, for us to share it, it's not going to work. It's not ready for that. It's not ready. And, and we're built like I'm building is such a better thing that you guys are welcome to use and will make you a lot of money. If you don't want to use it out of spite of me or something, that's fine. But I, I have done nothing but spend time and energy and bend over backwards to help both Kevin Brennan and the Shuley network with stuff. I'm, I, I'm happy to do it. I'm, I'm not even saying I, I won't do it anymore, but if after everything I've done for Shuli and that store and setting it up and it's like, again, I, I charged them a hundred bucks to set that store up a hundred bucks, you know? So like, uh, it was a lot. It was a lot. I, I, I don't need to get into it and trash Shuli. And I'm not looking to do that. I'm not looking to do that. I'm just saying I've always been more than fair and tried to be helpful and given of my time and resources. There was the, the night when they got suspended. I, I came up here and, and talked with Joe and was trying to help him figure out stuff. And we really did have every intention. You know, I, I know Moody thought he could have that up, up and running in three days. It look, it's weeks later and we're not even close. So that was delusional on our part. I, more on Moody's part because I don't really know what it entails and how far out he was and all the development steps. But look, like we're waiting to get approval from from YouTube to uh, to use their integration. So when you tip on our system, you'll be able to log in with YouTube or eventually Facebook or whatever you want to have that as your display name when you do a tip. And it's just going it, to look, they say it takes four to six weeks to get approved for that for the OAuth integration for anybody who's a developer and knows that stuff. So like, look, I, 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 I what is, is man. I, I don't, if you weren't buying views, you weren't buying views and everything will point to that. Eventually. I know this Chris Abel's ain't helping the case on the show today. He doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. Hello. Hey buddy. Um, my, uh, my wife works for like a really big social advertising agency. And I just wanted to clear two things up. That Hootsuite thing, the big thing they use these programs for is just for scheduling. So, like, you could schedule a yep. post on a Monday yep. to yep. That's get what I, on a Saturday. That's what I used to use it for. You you write your tweets. You can schedule them. You can make sure they come out at the right times for the for the best interaction, for the most engagement, for the most views. You can, you can – and everybody in the company can see it, too. They know what's going to come out and what's going to be published at what time. That way, and if an employee goes rogue, you only have to revoke their Hootsuite access. You don't have to change the Twitter password and message all the employees the new path. You know what I mean? Like, that's what it's for. It's it's a staff and team management tool that merges with a matrix of, of platforms. So, yeah, 100%. 
Yeah, but 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 exactly. would you agree that YouTube has the the least options to do of all the platforms? Like you Dude. can't you can't advertise on. There's no you know aside from like buy. Look, anybody can buy a video ad that is like a a role in a video. You could buy that, but you don't need Hootsuite for that. You do it on AdSense. No, and I'll tell you this right now. <laughs> she works for a big company and have a huge budget, and boosting is very real. But not on fucking YouTube, not on dude. YouTube. It doesn't exist. And you were totally correct. But yeah, they spend thousands of dollars on boosting fucking Facebook and um and Instagram. But that's boosting an ad, like you said, dude. You pay so Facebook to boost it on their platform. Why would you pay Steven Springer to boost on YouTube? And then mention Hootsuite, Finmo. like they're involved. <laughs> it's like, is Steven hold on, is it what are you paying? Steven Springer or YouTube or Hootsuite? What is it? Because you keep changing. Dude, this is bullshit. You're so nice to those dudes. What is, is. Yep. And again, part of that what is, is, is Shuli's doing very well. Shuli gets a ton of super chats. They're, they do great. They have a that engaged and loyal audience. You know, people enjoy. Uh, I'm not taking you. I'm not saying they're shit. Nobody listens. They're all fake. They're not funny. It's garbage. No, everything I've ever said about them is still true. They have a lot of fans. They get a lot of engagement. They have a lot of viewers. They make a lot of money. What his is, what is, is Chris Abels is talking out his asshole on this show. Uh, 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 and that didn't help. That didn't help. And then when you start saying that, when you start lying about me and saying that I'm not answering your calls. And uh, Melton's over there saying that he has definitive proof that we bought. It's like, okay, you've lost the fucking plot. You're you're fighting the wrong guy because I'm not. I'm on the side of truth. Ace, you got him, son. Chris bought views. They all know either before. They all know either before or now, so they're running diversion. Get Springer on your show. I'll pay one k. I mean, look, coming from anybody else, I believe that we all know Ace doesn't have one k. He's our poorest fan. This is our poorest listener. Chant, look, if Chandler's like, I'll give you a thousand to get him on, then I know, then I know we have real backing. <laughs> but um, yeah, this has been just weird and disappointing. I can't even find my panel to play voice tips. It's vanished off my screen. Oh, here it is. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I forgot about it. Look, this. Melton, were funds exchanged? Yes. Did our views go up? Yes. Did Bob suggest something to someone? Yes. Now, where do you get to question me about buying views? Way off base, buddy. I mean, I would love if they answered any of those questions, but they really didn't. Again, who is in charge? Uh, I believe Bob doesn't have a Venmo. Bob says he doesn't have a Venmo. Kevin said he always had to pay Gina. Fair enough. Bob Bob probably doesn't have a fucking clue what's going on. However, Rob Saul said Bob put him in touch with this guy. This is how you get views. This guy will help you get views. Now, look, does Bob know? Bob might think that it's marketing, too. Bob might be, I don't know how it works. I'm going to get $50 and our numbers go up. Who cares? Fair enough. But shouldn't it be a more honest conversation then when this comes up? Shouldn't Bob be like, look, I didn't know. I thought, I don't know how YouTube works. You son of a bitch. I don't know how anything works. I'm just focused on my pool. Like that'd be, that'd be legit. It would be legit for Bob to be like, I don't know. He said they do marketing and I gave him money for marketing and our show it got better and more views and more like, yeah. That'd be legit. Them coming out and go, yeah, we did it for a while to fuck with Kevin. Sure. No one's even mad. If this comes out, you know, next week and we have definitive proof, we don't, Joe. But if it ever came out that we did, like, it's not the end of the world. Who cares? You bought some viewers. Everybody wants to rule the world. Okay. Black Eyed Sue. I'll pay 2K if it'll open your eyes fully to Shuli. Yeah, I gotta. We'll reach out to the Steven Springer guy. Um, 
But Rob Saul should have, he did all this in Facebook Messenger. Take screen caps. Let's see. Let's see the message where Bob sent the guy to you and what he said. This guy will help you buy views. Let's see. It either does or doesn't. Like, why, why, why am I the asshole? Why am I the asshole? For, like, what is, is. It, it, they did or they didn't. You know? So there's no point in being mad or belligerent or trying to turn on me or whatever. By the way, kick me the fuck out of your life. Never deal with Melton again. Melton's a fucking asshole. Melton won't answer the calls. Melton's lying about having proof. Okay. None of that makes it true. None of that makes me have not answered your calls. None of that means I was on here earlier saying we had proof. None of it. You can scream it all you want. It didn't happen. You lied. Both of you. So now what? Now did you not buy views because you flipped on me and lied about me? No. If you bought views, you still bought views. If you didn't buy views, you still didn't buy views. What you did is what you did. And what is, is. And we're just fucking asking. And when it gets skirted around and when you start lying about other people and when the whole thing starts out with like Rob's just jealous, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel legit, man. Saul stood zero to gain uh, from, yeah, look, unless we don't know, Kevin could pay Saul. Saul could be so bitter and such a vindictive fuck that maybe, maybe it is all just to fuck them over. I don't know. I don't know. Bob stinks. People like Shuli are the reason W World War II happened. I mean, technically, technically you are right. You are not. That is not an incorrect statement. The Jews are why World War II happened is not really an incorrect statement. <laughs> you could also say Hitler is why World War II happened. That is also a correct statement. But that's just the, we're just talking about the two sides of the war. So yeah, I mean, yeah. If is it a correct statement to say if Jews didn't exist, <laughs> World War II wouldn't have happened? Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> I mean, that's probably true. Holy shit! Super B, who I've never fucking heard uh, of, is saying uh, this. They did answer the questions. Chris Abel paid for marketing, not views. Shuli Joe said they have never paid for views. Bob doesn't have a Venmo. Shuli has no problem with Melton. Okay. No, I have a problem with Shuli. I you sound like Ray. No, Shuli has no problem with you. I don't give a fuck. Shuli lied about me today a lot. I have a problem with Shuli now. I have a problem with Shuli now. So uh fuck that, liar. <laughs> um and look, it's not a big enough problem where I'll ever even fucking mention I don't care. I don't care. I won't be messaging him after the show. Like, why'd you lie about me? No, you just fucking lied about me. I don't care. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why. I guess to make, here's the thing. It didn't even make you look good. It wasn't like somebody said like, Hey, why haven't you been call answering Patrick's calls? And he said, what? No, Patrick doesn't answer my calls. No, out of nowhere. He went, Melton dodges my calls and doesn't answer me and won't take my out of nowhere. He just said that, which is a complete fucking lie. Melton ignores me and doesn't. Okay. It'd be very embarrassing for you to post one thing of me ignoring. Again, show a missed call on your uh, on uh, where you dialed me and I didn't answer. Show a text message you sent me where I didn't answer it. You know, God, I'll I'll eat my goddamn shorts. <laughs> I I don't even fucking know. I really like it's baffling. That came, that came out of nowhere today. <laughs> so you being like, Shuli doesn't have a problem with you. It's like, oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Chris Abel's paid for marketing, not view. Again, that's fishy. That's fishy already. Proven. I've used Hootsuite. We just had a call from a, from a guy whose wife works with Hootsuite all the time. The, the stuff they're saying you can do on YouTube, you cannot do. What Joe said. No, we take our email list and we cross-reference that and we can find like audience and market straight to them. It's like, no, you can't. No, you can't. And by the way, Steven Springer does it. 
He's the guy who handles it for you. Why bring up Hootsuite? Why bring up Facebook? No one's going, did you guys buy Facebook ads? And again, if you did, let's see a Facebook ad. Just show, say, here's some of the stuff we do buy. We do buy ads. Oh, we do buy YouTube ads, and that's what get us views. Here are some of the YouTube ads we buy. Okay. No, no one's saying you didn't. We're asking. We're asking. I asked. I said there's payments here to a guy that Rob Saul says you guys use to buy views. What's going on? And your answer to that was Melton doesn't answer my calls. He ignores me. Your answer to that was it's marketing. You can look it up. You can look it up. Anybody can look it up. It's marketing. It's YouTube. You go on there. They get you views. I don't even know. I don't even know. I honestly, like we didn't get to shit today. We were going to do KC today. We were going to do, uh, um, the Keanu, uh, Kiki and April show. So I don't know. We may have to do a show later tonight. We may do a bonus show. We may do a show tomorrow. Yeah, I'm I'm a little I'm a little baffled here. But I do have I have some stuff in my inbox that I need to research that I'm blown away by, which I can't bring up yet. The stuff that I was like floored by earlier, I, I gotta look into some stuff. Cause this is wild. And it ties into like some Vegas stuff here. And I need to look into it. I need to look into it. Here's a question no one has asked, said Jeremy Bot. Why would idiot Abels need marketing? Like he needs to schedule his social media. This is the other thing. It's like, isn't the reason you join, you know, I've heard the pitch. Remember when Shuli called in and pitched me the network to join back in the early days? Look, I've heard the pitch. We have graphic artists. We have producers. We do the marketing. We do the, why is Chris Abels buying his own marketing if he's on the Shuli network? Wouldn't the Shuli network have a marketing budget and they would buy ads and they would promote, they would promote certain shows to certain demographics since they can split it all out like that. And when they promote the whole network as a whole, no, every show has to buy their own marketing. I don't know. I, I really don't fucking know. Uh, Steven Springer hit the goal several times. Yeah, I bet. I, I don't know to stay on their, uh, to stay on their network. Steven Springer hit the goal several times. Melton Tuesday on MLC, please. That's the other thing. It's like, so I've got Kevin over there saying Melton, Sh Melton's best friends with Bob and Shuli. He sucks their ass. And now I have Shuli and Joe over there going like Melton sucks. Kevin's ass and thinks Bob shouldn't be paid. Remember that? That was the beginning of the show. Why Melton goes after Butch Bradley for $1,200, but he doesn't think Bob should be paid. It's like, what? Bitch, I've never fucking said Bob should be paid. And by the way, quite the opposite. It's insane that Kevin won't pay Bob. I say it over and over and over again. Kevin should pay Bob if he owes Bob money. What I say is we don't fucking know anything. We don't know anything. They're all fucking liars. I don't know it. You don't know if they if if Kevin owes him money, and I don't know. So it does no good to even speculate. I'll say this: if Kevin hasn't paid Bob for July and August, he's a fucking asshole. He's a vindictive, petty, grudge holding asshole. He's all those things anyway. But yeah, he should pay Bob. He should pay Bob a hundred percent. I can't make him just like I, I can't make Butch pay me. Okay. And Kevin's on his show telling Butch, you should pay Melton. You should pay Melton. Well, you should pay Bob. I said that last week when it happened on Friday, <laughs> I said that it was, it was, it was, uh, you know, he was being a hypocrite by, by saying that, that Bradley should pay me and he won't pay Bob. 
And Kevin reached out to me, like how much, you know, like as if, as if Kevin was going to pay me. And I was like, you don't owe me anything. Pay Bob. <laughs> I didn't say pay Bob, but I said, you don't owe me money. Kevin, our, our butch owes me money. <laughs> and, and if you have so much money to throw around paying me, Kevin, you again, pay Bob if you owe Bob money. I, I, but I don't know that. I don't know. We don't know. Bob might have just not got what he thought he should get, and now he's making a big deal. We don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but what is is and what should be should be. If Bob worked, Bob should get paid. If Bob was promised an amount to perform on a show, he should be paid for it. Of course. Of course. I don't know why I'm being brought up like Melton won't take our side on that. It's like, okay. Just like Kevin, Shuley seems like he's always ready to attack the people closest to him. Should he perceive some sort of wavering loyalty, odd characteristic to find in a comedian's personality? It's just, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. This has been a weird one. This has been a weird one. I'm going to have to redo the whole show name and thumbnail and description because we never got into any of it. <laughs> this has all been about Shuley and uh, views and... How I dodge him and won't answer his questions. It's like, fuck. <laughs> Joe's been telling me he was going to email me for a over a month about that show, about, about the store. Hey, we have some, they want to do it over text. You know, they're like, Hey, can I give you some store changes? And it's like, email me, email me. So I don't lose it and forget it. The minute you email me, I'm very responsive with emails. I'm very responsive. Ask anybody. I'm I'm pretty responsive. You don't even have to go to iReply. It's all free. And I and I tell you to email me when you have a bunch of changes or products you want or, or coupon codes done. Email me. So it's all laid out. And then when I go to do it, I can just do it. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll email you. It's been over a month. And Joe has said that multiple times. I'm sending you some stuff for the store. It doesn't come. It doesn't come. Th that's not happening. So to spin that as I'm dodging, and then and then again, Tuesday, Shuley called me and said, hey, when are you, or texted me, when, are you, when can you, we have a talk? And I said, tomorrow, after the BS show, I'm wide open. And he said, great. And then I'm watching the BS show. The BS show ends. I'm not Again, I'm not going to call him right after the show. I don't know if he needs to go eat breakfast or lunch or take the kids to school or pick the kids up or get the drapes done or go water the yard. I don't know. Call me when you have time. I told you my schedule. I told you when I'm available. So because I didn't call you to see what you want for the store. And I also said, if you have a bunch of store changes you need done, email them to me. I told him that too. And Julie said, I'll email you. I'll email you. He never emailed. I'm dodging, motherfucker. I, I guess we have to read the text. <laughs> this is Julie and I's last conversation. Can we chat about the store when you have free five minutes? Have some ideas and stuff I want to go over with you. I said, tomorrow I'm free most of the early afternoon. If there's a lot of stuff for the store, it's better if you send an outline of it in an email so I can go through it when I'm working on it. Joe has been saying he was going to send some stuff for weeks, but I haven't heard from him. Okay, I'll get you the email. But yeah, I'll be around tomorrow after BS if you want to talk. Okay, awesome. N not a word since. Am I dodging? Am I dodging? What have I been unclear about, motherfucker? And again, I'm yelling. I'm not angry. It's just odd. It's odd. What a weird lie to tell everybody. <laughs> I guess you didn't buy views because I'm dodging you. The fuck out of here. Your manner is most unbecoming of a gentleman. Would you be high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy has it. The question posed to stupid hoes who don't get it yet. Excuse me, miss. Are you high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy hasn't hit them yet. They're full blown retarded or just high on cigarettes. All the laughter that you did, boy. If you listen to the show, boy, Patrick Melton, Melton faces have you stacking that no low point. It's the low point, not the reason. The reason is fucking gold. It'll make the taco pony party be a party of soul. It'll make you vandalize a van with a pedal sticker. So bold, the family probably get arrested before they get down the road. A stupid motherfuckers just got NL loaned Other radio shows are straight bitch male prone Talk shit on the onions that nobody like past Have my homeboy lame prank call him fast Have him thinking that he hates him Like right before he berates him And the way that he baits him 
I'ma put him right on blast Like Patrick is an asshole and his show won't last And every time I called then he treated me like trash